Hi, what's up everybody? It's your girl Erin and today you are in for a special treat because we are doing a live Mantrax. Yes, that's right. You heard it. A live Mantrax. You're going to get the products, you're going to get the tools, and you're going to get the plug on where to get your hair. So be sure to tune in because you don't want to miss it, right? Um, if you have any questions, be sure to type down below so we can answer those for you. I'm just waiting on my model to arrive shortly. But in the interim, one thing that I do want to say is that we've already done some prep work to make today's job easy. So as soon as we get started, we're going to go right into it, okay? Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now today I do have like my lovely model. This is Bree Combs. Bree Combs is known as Brandon. Um, and we're going to be doing a installation today. So I'm just going to give a quick spin just so you could see. Now, Brandon does have some receding and some thinning up top. So as you can already so. see. A little bit. <laughs> just a little. I didn't want to throw you on that bit. like that. No, I was like, I can give him a little bit, you know. Um, but as you can see, we already cleaned and prepped the area, did the base haircut, and now we're about to get them cased so we can start the process. Erin, can you tell us what your Instagram name is? Yeah, absolutely. So my Instagram is V, that's T H E E. Aaron, E-R-I-N, and Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R, the Aaron Taylor. And that's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. And my lovely model, of course. Would hey. you like to share? Oh, sure. B yeah. Combs Hair. B-C-O-M-B-S-H-A-I-R. And that's on all platforms. We're ready to have some fun, right? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. We are going to cut up for you all. We're going to have a good Just a little time. bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Brandon? Yes? I want you to give that to me again. We're going to cut up just a little bit. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to do Instagram again. Oh, the Instagram. This, this I is got you. you. <laughs> See? <laughs> that is B Combs Hair. B C O M B S H A I R. And it's on all platforms. Which one is your going Here, stop. Right here. It's on. Mm -hmm. I ain't got that power yet. Mm. <laughs> you got it. Sorry. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, Brandon and Aaron, we're going to have questions from the audience. Yeah. Cool beans. Myself and, of course, Dowie, who's our producer, will be asking when we're giving you those questions. Okay. okay. So just feel free to answer any of those questions and open up to your audience so the audience can, um, you know, say, hey, what questions do you have so they can engage with yes, you? Yes, I want them to engage. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. You know what, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, I just have alcohol and I'm just cleaning the area, making sure it's free of oil, any product that might be there. We just want to have a good, clean foundation. Right. Now, the thing that I love about this method, you can be as creative as you want. So it's not only for just clients who are thinning, who are receding, who are balding. It's also for those clients who want to change their style, have some versatility in their life, play with a little color and a little pop of fun every now and then. Exactly. You know, just a little. Just a little shimmy. A little shimmy and a little <laughs> shake today, you know? Um, <laughs> so now that we've prepped the area, I'm going to go in, and as you can see, the tool that I like to use for my line is actually an eyeliner pencil. The reason why I like to use eyeliner um, is because you're able to go in, make any adjustments to your line that you need be. This is by far the most important step because once this line is done, it's no going back, right? That's the hairline. Right? That's the hairline. That's the hairline. That's the, unclockable. <laughs> okay. Unclockable. And you're able to just go ahead and mark that where you see best fit. Uh-oh. Now. Sanitize, sanitize. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sanitize, sanitize. Yes, sanitize, sanitize. 
You actually are doing it. We didn't do it yesterday. Oh. Hey, I dropped comms yesterday. I just screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut them off and went on here. Yeah. <laughs> Make it work. Make it work. Shut them off and let's go. Look, as long as we have the knowledge. As long yes. as we know. Yes. We sanitize our <laughs> yes. So I'm just going in. And of course, this can be changed. And I want to hear from you all. Who has tried this before? Who has ever tried a man install, a man track install? And if you have tried it, what were some difficult things that you ran into? So that way we can go ahead and try to help you with those problem areas that you have. What I like to do first is go in with a rough line, sort of like my rough draft, just so I could see. And then toward the end of it, I'll go ahead and get it cleaned up. And I've been wearing units now for about what, five years. Has it been about five years? About five, yeah. I think about five years. About five years. Oh, wow. I didn't even recognize it. Yeah. Yeah. So I've tried every style. So trust me, there's nowhere you can't go with it. To the moon and back, Alex. To the moon and back. <laughs> I've had braids, locks, twists, twists comb twists. black top. And I was bald yesterday. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> The versatility of it is just awesome, though. Now, what I want you to talk about, Brandon, because in addition to hair, mm -hmm. um, the audience might not know, but you also have uh, a new endeavor where you are doing training, personal oh, yeah. training. Oh, yeah. And how does that hold up with your installs? How I want you to give your personal little tidbit right there. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so I body build. Um, and I train clients, so I'm pretty much in the gym maybe six weeks, six days a week. Mm -hmm. um, and it works wonderful for me. Um, there are a few um, tips that you've given me over the time mm -hmm. um, where, uh, number one, let, allowing the unit itself to dry completely. Dry completely. Um, that's one thing that you told me. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the other tip? Something about moisture. What, what was it? Do you remember what you Yeah, mean? so I already knew where you was going with it. So mm -hmm. one thing that I recommend, and I see it all the time on social media, and I want y'all to stop out there. <laughs> stop putting those do-rags on these units. That's what it was, the do-rag. Baby, yes. the trick of it is mm -hmm. to get your satin pillowcase and lay directly down on it so yeah. it keeps the moisture of your hair and in the install. And I never realized that until you told me, but it actually helped the glue last longer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't smush the glue into the hair. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So I'm able to wear it a little longer. Now I will say the units that you make mm -hmm. specifically um, on the scalp, mm -hmm. those don't last as long as the actual units right. they are with my workout plan. Right. Yeah. So what he's referring to, and we're going to go into a little dive into history real quick. Mm -hmm. um, so come on, history lesson. Come on, history lesson. <laughs> um, so units have been, men in wigs and toupees um, has been around for a very, very long time. Very long time. Um, it's nothing new under the sun, and this by far proves that point. But, right. you know, your girl, me. I had to mosey on down in the history books and, <laughs> and make my stamp on it. Right. You know? So um, basically what I did was I have a method called man tracks and it basically allows the everyday gentleman who is experiencing balding, thinning and receding uh, to have that confidence restored and to get these extensions. Um, but it's also cost affordable to them. Um, so many times in the set life in industry movie projects and stuff like that, these units could cost thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's not realistic for the everyday man, right? Um, and so I brought this method and brought it more mainstream over the years. So that way men all around the world um, who have this, 
whether it be an insecurity, whether it be a problem, however you list it. Or you just want a little extra. A little extra <laughs> zoom zoom in a vroom vroom. Right. You're able to do that. So let's take a look here. We're going to see a list line. Take a look up for me, Brandon. Mm -hmm. And you're a little crooked here. So all I, what I personally recommend is on this line, take your time with it. This is one of those areas, again, where you want to make sure it's right for your client. And you want to step away, see it from different angles, just like your haircut, because you want to make sure no matter the light mm -hmm. and no matter the angle that they are going to be right. I think one thing that you told me to keep in mind also mm -hmm. is if you're not available and somebody else is doing my unit, uh -huh. that they check the profile. Yeah. Because that hairline from the side also matters. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one big tip that you taught me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I am so proud of you right now. I just had to break in. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you right now. I'm over here just gleaming yes. as you were talking yes. and giving instructions about how to build the confidence for men who, you know, again, need that extra or who are going through, hey, I lost my hair, what can I do? Yeah. I'm so proud of how you just presented that and it, it made me, even though I'm bald, made me want to go, maybe I should get one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? I'm going to put you one on now. Maybe I should. Me? Me? But I am also very proud of the fact that, hey, you are a Paul Mitchell graduate, baby, one. Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to buy the house. <laughs> 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 um, but and you are speaking so well about the actual uh, service happening today. Mm -hmm. We do have a question on the board, so I want to okay. go ahead and throw that question up Absolutely. on the board. Um, someone said, what hair is being used today? I'm new to man weave, so give me an idea of what's happening today. Yeah, absolutely. So um, there's many different install types. So you have your pre-made units, which are going to be units that you can buy. Shameless plug. Where can they get it from, Dallas? Private label extensions. Boom. Label, baby. Right there. That's where it's at. Yep. Um, so you have those pre-made units that you're able to get. Now, for those who know, you know, I just gave you an inside plug. Okay? Yes. <laughs> baby, I don't share my good secrets now. Okay? I didn't get and you I that. hate to cut in on you, yeah. but this is huge that there is a location that you can actually get it from because... Yeah. During the pandemic, baby, baby we were sweating. sweating. <laughs> it was a struggle for somebody that wears units every day, like yes. myself, to have a specific place. Where is that place again, Dallas? Private label. Private uh -huh. label. Mm -hmm. It's on that sign right behind you. Yeah. Right behind me, yes. <laughs> It matters that you can get it somewhere, though. Yes, and so we also have the custom units where I go in and actually make them mm -hmm. uh, on the client's scalp. Now, both have pros and cons and strengths and weaknesses. It's all about the consultation that you do with your client, their needs, and what they need to have done for their lifestyle. Yep. Yes. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to do a quick look one more time for me. Look up for me. Side. Perfect side. Perfect. All right. So now what we're going to do is start our glue application. We've already done our cut. We've already cleaned our surface. We have our line in place. And now we're about to start the glue application. Now, this is another exclusive. I see you all. No hate, no salt in the game. But um, a lot of you like to use, you know, your bold holes and your different glues of that nature. I preferably like to use an acrylic glue. Um, and the reason for an acrylic lace glue um, is because it actually holds onto the hair and to the unit a lot longer. And I find that it gives the client a lot more wear. Mm -hmm. um, so my personal favorite, what I like to use, product coming soon. Until then, we're going to use Ultra Hole, but look out for stores for your girls' product line dropping. <laughs> All right, so it's Ultra Hole by Walker's Tape. And we're just going to go ahead and apply this. And we're going to be generous with our glue. We want to give a good solid coating. Now, one of the things that I will say, um, one of the things that I will say about this glue, it does take a little longer to dry. However, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> 
Now, is there a method to your madness? I never asked. Is there a specific way that you put it on? Absolutely. So I prefer to start in the middle and work my way out. Okay. If you want to look down for me. So I pour directly here, and then I'm just working the glue around. And you could see where it's reflecting with the light. You could see where it's been applied and where it hasn't been applied. Now, do be careful because this glue does run. So you just want to make sure that you're being very careful with everything. And so to answer the question, I'm sorry, I don't think we fully answered it yet. Um, today, I think we're going to do some pre-made units. Yes. Yeah, I think that's Yay. what we're going to do today. Also, uh, Mojo Jojo said, thanks for the plug, sis. <laughs> hey, Mojo. Hey. <laughs> So Mojo, do you actively do man units now? Or are you starting to get into the industry? Or into the service, rather, I should say. We'll definitely wait for that response and I definitely will give that to you. Thank you. And as you can see, just tilting. Now, it does come with an applicator brush. I prefer this method on my own where I just go ahead and do my pouring and then I place it where I would prefer it. It just saves a little time. I appreciate the spatula because it allows you to move uh, the product, the viscosity of the product, move it very smoothly mm. exactly where you want it. Absolutely. And I don't know if they can tell, but one second. My spatula is actually silicone, mm. so it helps glide the glue, whether, um, whereas getting stuck in the glue. All right, and we're just going very to go tip. on this side. Who? Mojo said, I am new to the man units. I yes. haven't got one yet, but I am interested. <laughs> yes. I definitely suggest it. If you want to change, this is an awesome way to make that change. I, I, I personally am not a big bald head person. It looks weird on me. Dallas does it wonderfully. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't pull it off because I don't have much facial hair. But um, this is an awesome way to make a change if you need to. Absolutely. Instead of telling my entire 41 years. How? 41. I wouldn't have never thought that. <laughs> Now, I knew it. You knew it, but, but you, I wasn't a thought. Right, 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 yeah. right. You see how I did that? <laughs> I like how you uh, did that. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, and we're just going to go ahead and making sure we get right to that hairline. Oh, do you have any tips for that? Getting like right getting to close hairline. to the hairline? So I do. I recommend putting the product on in the back. So I'll show you on this side. Just like in the middle and then working it down. Don't start with it at the hairline because if mm. it runs, you have time to catch it and move it before. Um, because with the glue, even if you clean it, you don't want any of, you know, any residue, any hair to get stuck to throw off your showpiece. The hairline right. is your showpiece to me. That's true. That's what the girls are coming to see. And that's mm -hmm. what they're paying the money for. Right. That's what makes it seamless. Yeah. Your man weave should be unclockable. Literally. Right. We are not Flavor Flav in here trying to get clocked. Okay? <laughs> we don't want that. Flavor Flav. All right. <laughs> All right, so now that we do have the first coat of glue on, I'm gonna give our model a spin, just so you could see where and how I applied everything. All right, and Another inside tip. Y'all are getting all my little gems today. Okay, oh, before you say this tip, okay. I just need you, you all know to know. To <laughs> well, I don't actually. Oh, okay, okay. But I need everyone to know that this is huge, that Dallas is actually offering this today yes. on live because 
they get in all types of tips. Especially, I don't know who's a stylist and who's just a patriot uh, waiting to get a man unit because I feel like all of them on the live are going to get it now. Yeah. But can we shout that out? Who's a stylist and who's just getting a man unit? Are here to just watch. Right. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna step in and take the commercial yes. break. Yes, come on, Dallas. Yes. Hi, y'all. <laughs> How y'all doing? Oh! Even though yours is on the way, oh. until oh. my babies is here, you can also get it here. We oh. do have our glue as well, baby. Oh, that's awesome. So, of course, we could have used this today. We really as well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There you go, yes. And we also have. And you have both the acrylic and the white. Option. Options. Always Options. come bearing Always. gifts. Always. Come bearing <laughs> gifts. As well as we do have lace tape. Lace tape as I'm well. I need some of that for my purse. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. That was my commercial for private on. label. There we go. I'm done. Keep Thank you so much. Here. Thank you, Dallas. <laughs> Keep that lace on with that lace glue and that tape, baby. I know right. that's right. Yes. All right. So we're going to let this air dry. Air dry? Air dry. Why are we air dry? No blow dry. No sitting you under the dry, mm -hmm. no fanning, mm -hmm. air dry, mm -hmm. okay? And this is going to take about 15 minutes. The reason why I preferably say air dry is because with the acrylic glue, if you do go in with a blow dryer, a hooded dryer, a fan, you're now um, drying quicker the top layer than what's inside and what's underneath. So therefore, mm -hmm. when you go to put your extensions on, they don't have that same grip. Air drying allows it to literally dry from the scalp all the way up and then give a nice even coat of uh, tack to the glue, okay? So while we're drying, any more questions you all have? I'm gonna go through some of these units just to show you what Private Label has in stock. Yes. And then we'll be able to go for, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> I done already pulled out something I like. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So we have a few comments. Okay. Um, some of them are just saying who they are. Um, one says they're a stylist, and another one says I'm a hairstylist. Okay. Oh. Hairstylist where? Where are you all located? Right. We want to get to know you. Connect. Let's network. Let's build some stuff, guys. It's all about our network. And I want you to shout out because this is a price point added value to all of the stylists that are on here. Absolutely. Like, you're getting a class for free, basically. That's right really what you're doing. <laughs> no, let, let's talk about it for real because all yeah. of the barbers who have been with their client, you have loyal clients and everything like that. You cannot stop genetics. So true. You cannot stop accidents from happening. You cannot. So you can You can even use this on scar reduction. Mm -hmm. You can use this for aging. You can use this thinning, balding, receding, changing styles. And so instead of you having to, you know, cut all of your clients' hair off or send them to another stylist, why not invest in yourself as a barber, as a stylist, and then go ahead and keep that residual income coming in every time they need an appointment. Now, I do offer one-on-one -on -one classes, and that was my shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, and not to mention that this is great for TV and film. Great if you're doing TV and, and film, Absolutely. this on your resume is excellent. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so we have a quick college from Las Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Yes. One from Burnett, Texas. Yes. Welcome. Cool. One says, uh, I'm a cosmetologist. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. One says, Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, they coming from everywhere, baby. Everywhere. Yes. And tell them to tag a friend. Tag a friend right now. Right now. Like, right everyone now. needs to see this. They've, they've only missed a portion of it. So everyone needs to see this right now. So go ahead and share and tag a friend. Right. Right now. <laughs> right now. No delays. Do it right now. Right now. In fact, we're going to take a small break, like 10 seconds, for you to go Just do that right now. Just for you to now. go ahead and tag. <laughs> You're not going to miss nothing. If you tag right now. You ain't going to miss nothing now, during this process. Wait for you. I'll be right here sitting waiting with glue on. So, Aaron, we do have other textures that are over there as well if you want to take a look at them. And one of them, again, is an extra curly okay. um, that we have. It's an extra zigzag pattern. And then, um, uh, or extra kinky. And then we have another one that is uh, curly. Of course, when you add one or two products to it, something like a pomade, your pomade, pomade, it's mm -hmm. going to give that curly kind of texture. So I can leave feeling like Dominican or I whatever. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> like I could go to the motherland at any point. I can come and be Dominican. You can, you can be down in the Caribbean. <laughs> or maybe we can take you with the waves of life because we yes. have something giving you nothing but waves, baby. 
way yeah. baby. I'm with Seize it. it. You will walk out of here. <laughs> right? Right. You'll go out of here with legs of sea. <laughs> now listen, y'all see this way. Y'all see. Can we get a close up? You can. Can we take it on in there? That's good right there. Look at that. 360. Nice. Built in. Yes. 360. And these are lace, but they do have the skin like texture as well. Oh, right. <laughs> we got a piece of testimony in the back. Because I didn't even tell you that you were over there telling it. Okay, I'm, you're welcome. Thank you so much. You're now, welcome. Oh, baby. Um, you, that's what you brought me for, baby. I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> and then, so this is the kinky style in that same unit. Now, what this is great for, um, of course, you have to do any styling. So this is in its natural raw state. So don't get you know, anxious or any type of anxiety from seeing it in this state, you do have to pick it out, comb it. It is hair, treat it like your extensions. So you want to make sure that this style can do anything from froze, comb twist, sponge brushing, braid, anything your heart's desire, this is able to do. All mm -hmm. right. But for today, I think we're going to go with a little motion in the ocean. Yeah. Ooh. Get a little wet. Yeah. A little motion in the ocean. That's what you call it. Motion in the ocean. You should yeah. change the name and call it motion in the ocean. Call it motion in the ocean. Okay, tag by, by, by none other than Miss Erin in the Taylor Yes. <laughs> I was giving a fierce pole behind Oh, you, you were. Like, you didn't see it. It was, it was all nasty it. pole. I felt it behind yeah. me. <laughs> All right, so as your glue is drying, one thing that you can do to check it is you can get the end of a comb, end of your spatula, um, and you're just going to do a quick dab. If the glue comes up, that means it is not dry and you still have a little time to wait. Now, for all the stylists who are watching, this is the time to upsell your clients. Go ahead and do those hand and arm massages. Go ahead and do the neck and shoulder massages. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do those facials. Use this time to truly cater to your client mm -hmm. and get to know them. Build that, build that, uh, the value of yeah. your service. Mm -hmm. into this so don't use this time as an idle time now of course you, we love our pocketbook so if you got somebody <laughs> waiting this might be a baby you gonna sit to the side right. i'll take them right now <laughs> you know you can do that too you know but we want to make sure that we're giving the client all of the value that they can get with and that's just service. a moment where you offer a little champagne okay. or a little hors uh, yeah. or something like that yeah mm -hmm. you know and if you're in the west end a little hookah you know right what I'm that's saying? true a that's little true. hookah we like a little hookah you know? <laughs> Y'all smoking hookah in the salon. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle girls is coming. <laughs> you know, in the salon. <laughs> but yes, do we have any comments out there? And I want to see, like, for everybody who is a stylist, for anybody, even those who are wearing, I want you all to send me you in your man tracks. I want to see you installing your man tracks. Right. So make sure, again, my Instagram is T-H-E-E. -E. E R I N Taylor T A Y L O R. That's D Aaron Taylor on all platforms. I want to connect with you. I really want to engage. I really want to, you know, help you grow your business, grow your services. Let's connect. That part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These boys be in my DM say I'm pretty. Yeah. Ain't that what they say? That's what they say. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Y'all slide in the DM with the man track. <laughs> right. And I'm going to point you where to get your order from. <laughs> now, if you're coming with a bag and a pocketbook, <laughs> we'll talk about it later. All right. So just another spin, just so you can see. If you are just joining us, this is my lovely model, Brandon. He goes by B Combs on all platforms. Brandon is a hairstylist as well. And so we already done our prep cut. We okay, so with the temp fade, uh huh. I have a cool question. Yeah. Is this also a good time to do the cut? Because I know you prepped me before prior, but is this a good time for them to do the cut with the glue on? I don't know how. I personally don't recommend that. Okay. The only reason why is because once you are cutting, let me show you what I got here for you. Shout out to Babeless on the Clippers. Once okay. you are cutting. Right, and you're going in all of that excess. Let's turn you a little bit. Mm -hmm. All of that excess hair then kicks out into your glue, mm -hmm. which then takes away the tackiness because it's some product already applied and some hair already applied to your product. So, I recommend either doing it before 
or waiting until you've done uh, the full install of your unit. Gotcha. So that was a great question. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any questions coming up? Let's see. That have popped up? Yes, we do have a question. So, okay. Um, what is the cost of this service? Mm. So the cost is up to you, right? The value that you give to your client. I personally charge anywhere for this service $300 and up. $300 is the minimum, and that's without hair, um, and that's without... Um, without hair, um, but it does include your full installation cut and style, your shampoo, and all of the things that we do for the client in between. It does now, not include the, the unit. It does not include the unit. Mm -hmm. Y'all run on over to private label to get your unit. Show up with it at the appointment. Right. And then I go ahead and charge you the 300 Or ship it to you prior to to be styled. Boom. <laughs> Options. <laughs> Options. Um, but depending on the style, depending on what you're looking to have done, that's is. Um, and the hours that it takes to get the style done, that's what is going to determine that cost. Okay? And can we say one thing while we waiting on this glue? Now, that I'm going I'm to get in trouble for this one. Okay. We like a little trouble. I like a little trouble. <laughs> but I think I'm going to in real trouble with this it's one. It's okay. Throw it out, though. When you are pricing your services, I know we are in a recession. I know there's inflation. I know... Um, you know, you want to be compatible to the other stylists around you, right? But make sure you're pricing yourself at the best point for yourself. Mm. What that means is what value are you giving to your client? What, what quality, what expertise are you giving to your client? If I'm charging my client, let's just say for this install today, $400, if you're watching this, learning this live today, there's no reason for you to be charging $400, right? Because you have to learn the quality of your work. You right. can't jump in and win a Grammy just because you dropped the mixtape. It don't work like that. It does not work like that. And so you have to put the hard work in, the dedication, and once you, um, once you, what's the word I'm trying to say? Once you go ahead and get that craft in your experience so, and yep. achieve it then price yourself now by all means baby i'm not paying your booth rent or know your commission so price how you need to you know but mm -hmm. also don't overprice and sometimes we do that in this industry just because oh you got they charging such and such down the street they down the street baby who are you and what are you charging right That's what value true. are you adding so we're gonna i'm gonna get back on y'all good side I, I feel like we have to learn the craft. For example, they're taking this class right now because specifically this is a class. Oh, it is a class. You're learning something. It's a virtual class. It's very much a virtual class for free dollars. But dot you, com. I'm going to use that. <laughs> okay, dot com. Dot com. Um, so you, you take this. I'm doing it today. Give myself six months to practice it. Take my price to where whatever that price is. We, we'll say the starting price would be two fifty since I just learned it. Mm -hmm. By the end of that year, I should be, be going to. up to because I've practiced it. You practice, you, know? you put in the work. Not only that, I don't know. And Dallas, can I? Can you chime in? So for you all who don't know, <laughs> not only did I go to Paul Mitchell, but Dallas was actually my instructor. Hello. Full of knowledge. Full of knowledge. Oh, right? God. Um, and so, Dallas, I want to hear your feedback on where we are in education right now with the industry. Oh, that's a and good And where point. do you see us going with that? Because I personally feel like, you know, we are in a YouTube university land. <laughs> and it, well, I wish you all could see Dallas right now. <laughs> you know, we are in a, we are in that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But also, you have to invest in your craft. You Very have to true. invest in yourself. Continued in education. Continue. Mm -hmm. Ain't that what it is? Mm -hmm. That's what it's called, mm -hmm. baby. Continue. I know you felt that in your Ooh. shalana. <laughs> shalana. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So how do you feel that the industry, not only just with education, but where do you feel like the industry is going as a whole compared to when you may have first got into it or even when we first met? You're you want to come on camera? Come on camera real quick. Well, I got to come on camera and look at my face. You know what? The only thing I'm going to add to that is the industry is 
um, what I said yesterday in our live yesterday, mm-hmm. and I'm peeking around the corner with you guys. Hey, um, <laughs> what I said to you guys live, and that way I'm sure you can't see me. Are you trying to see me? Are you? You're half playing. Good, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I want my body. I want, you know. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, for somebody that's already looking at me, tell me, hey, what's up? Oh, in the DM? Anyway, in the DMs already. Uh-huh. Man, the DMs already. <laughs> that DM working today. Right? It's on fire. Yeah. No, um, what I talked about yesterday was being professional. Yeah. This mm. is what we are. We are professionals. Absolutely. Um, we were talking about celebrity hairstylists. And I was like, I don't call myself that. I call myself yeah. a professional hairstylist. Mm-hmm. That's what we are. Yeah. yeah. And so as far as YouTube, as far as, you know, this industry, the way it's moving into that arena, it's fine for you to check those out, get those particular techniques. Watch this because mm-hmm. you're getting nuggets today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, you still need to take a class. So you can be personally in that class, hands on, and being involved to learn the technique so that now you can execute it properly. Mm-hmm. Not, oh, because I watched it on TV, I got it. So some of y'all out there who may get a little upset with me because yeah. I'm saying that, I'm telling you is that you really, as a hairstylist, we as hairstylists, we need to be in there getting hands on, yes. touching, touching in and making sure that we understand every piece of information being delivered in that class Absolutely. and that's how that's what separates us from that particular stylist i wasn't going to call you <laughs> i was waiting that you did that really nicely <laughs> <laughs> that particular stylist and professionals like us like very us. true was that was that a good way guys yeah. that was great oh, okay, great. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 All right, so I just want to check the glue one more time. I don't think it's ready just yet, but I just want to keep showing you all the process. And then another thing, this is not to discourage anyone. We all started something new at one point in time. Absolutely. So this is just an encouragement message to you to say invest in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in the craft and the services that you provide. And we are not dry. We are getting a little bit closer, Mm -hmm. but not just yet. We have and for, a question for you guys, and Brandon, if you want to go ahead and say what you want to say. I was just going to say, uh, for those that want to know how it feels, I can feel the glue tightening a little bit. Um, so I can tell also that it's drying. But one thing that you want to keep in mind with your um, client is their heat rising. Like with me laughing and talking, it, it does decrease the drying process. It time. does, yeah. because the glue does it takes longer to dry the elevated temperature. Mm -hmm. So you do want to keep them in a climate climate controlled setting. Mm -hmm. Um, You do want to be mindful. Are you hot? Are you feeling okay? You know, do you need a fan? Do we need to turn the air? Different things like that just to make sure while this is curing, come on, Mm -hmm. um, that (laughs) you're able to go ahead and get all of the value out of your um, install with that. So true. And that is uh, just adding for educational pieces, thinking of it as, uh, a chemical when you're doing wipers, yes. when you're doing relaxers, you okay. want to keep them in that state, that same condition as you started, mm-hmm. so that the process will process properly. Correct. Yeah, because any time that they shift or they change, then you could have, you know, some some hot roots or whatever it right. may be. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, same thing with the uh, drying of the glue. Here is a question that we have for you guys. Okay. Again, I've been talking a lot. I'm done talking. <laughs> um, any tips on how to overall market this service to clients? That's the first part of the question. And it says, I know some are super comfortable and may ask for it, but for those that are new to the service or not as confident to flat out ask for it, how do you handle that? Is this an existing client or a new client? Um, I think the way that they're trying to explain it is they are first trying to get into this market. So okay. They're going, how do I, how do I, you know, s- sell this or approach right. this in my salon so that people can start coming to me? And then after you tell me that, tell me how do I deal with the people who are, you know, not so confident? How do I get that not so confident guy to actually sit in that chair? Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna hit it from a few angles, and Brandon, chime in whenever you feel necessary. Okay. Um, If there is someone who's already your client, maybe you've been cutting their hair for a little bit and you notice, oh, I'm having to use a little bit more fiber. I'm having to maybe 
um, take the line back a little bit. Maybe I'm having to do, you know, whatever the case may be, just go to them and say, you've already built that rapport. They're already coming to you as a client. Hey, as a professional, I think that we can do something else with your results that will give you something more long lasting, that will give you an enhanced look, um, and something more natural than the fibers, right? Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. We love some good enhancement, some good fiber, but that shouldn't be your soul style, right? And so you go to them and you say, hey, um, I can go ahead and, you know, create this for you or, you know, whatever. Now, for those who are looking to build clientele um, and you have not um, or you don't have any clients that are getting this service, I prefer, I prefer to be a little controversial. Okay. That gets me in trouble. What does that bit. mean exactly? Yeah. I, <laughs> I prefer to be a little controversial. Get the room talking, you know? So maybe the post I make would be this, mm -hmm. you know? Because now when you see a post instead of, you know, deep seas with the waves, you know what I'm saying? You're seeing what is going on on this gentleman's scalp. Clearly, they're in the middle of something. So it gets you talking. It gets that engagement going. You know, I've even literally put a client, his before and after, on a shirt and walked around. But guess how many people got that attention and saw the message that I was trying to portray? Um, it's all kind of marketing things that you can do. But I would definitely start by saying social media is so powerful right now. Being consistent with your marketing, consistent with your posting, consistent with the content that you're putting out there, using those hashtags properly, along with some of the old school methods. You know, they don't really pass out flyers and cards no more. Nope. And that, that's a little hurting. Because <laughs> I was one that was going and passing out the flyers and right. the cards. and the, They don't do that no more. Nope. So getting back into that, innovative ways everybody goes to church put your business on a church fan and go donate them to churches now all of those members are coming to see not coming to see your product but while in service while doing whatever they pick up a fan it's you you know donate things to schools you know give back backpack season oh get a little something made with your ruler oh what's this you know it's all kinds of things that you can do to market yourself the service literally the sky's the limit with that and I just want to add one portion to that because I know they mentioned um, fearful clients, mm -hmm. those that are afraid, guys that are afraid to get it. Yeah. Because you had to talk me into doing it too. And I know it was a long time coming, but I did it. <laughs> <laughs> but it depends on where that person is. Um, for example, if you are just doing the fibers on them mm -hmm. to uh, enhance it, this is a great time to push their limit, maybe if they're going on vacation or something like that, and you can actually add those services in for yeah. those times where, where they don't actually have to go out in public much or if they're going to be home for the day. That's when you can try those different things for them. So suggest it in that way, mm -hmm. um, and they may be a little bit more apt to trying it. And not only that, everything is not for everyone. True. You know, as a professional myself, I've done this same service on someone and it maybe wasn't the perfect timing for them mm -hmm. or the perfect service for them. And so you adjust and then you go to the drawing board and come back to it. Um, so don't get discouraged. That's, that's the takeaway today. Don't be discouraged. And don't be afraid to have the conversation. Have the conversation. Yeah. Because the, the worst thing that, because you already think they're going to say no in right. your head. Mm -hmm. So the worst thing they can do is say yes. Hey. That's literally the worst thing that they can That's have. it. And then you move on and shave that, that hair off. That's <laughs> so like, it, like that's the worst thing. Shave it. <laughs> shave it. You hear right. me? So, I just want to, can you hold this? Oh, one absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, show the hair first. Yeah. Um, so, as you can see, we both are holding waves. These are pre made units that have the wave pattern. Now, the thing about it is, go ahead and flip over. Okay. The interior. Mm, mm. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> the interior are di is different. So, this one that I'm holding, you can see, is lace. And then the one that Brandon is holding is going to be your scalp or your. Um, we like to call it a medical skin. Medical, medical skin. skin. Your medical grade skin. Come on, skin realness. <laughs> yeah, skin realness. So these are the differences and depending on the client, depending on the installation and the reason why both of these differ. And if you want to know the reason, that's the personal class that you can <laughs> tap in. Just know private label extensions have both. Yes. Whatever you need. Okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Brian. Options.
We do have a question again on the board. Okay. Is this available for replay? I'm driving and want to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 We yes. are going to be using this footage, reposting it, going ahead and coming back in and repurposing this footage. So if you have missed anything today, don't hesitate to reach out. We will go ahead and be uploading this content continuously. Yes. And be careful. Be safe. On the road. Yes. <laughs> yes. Be safe. Get on the class while you're driving. I didn't think about that myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. But th that tells us how many people you're reaching right now. So yeah. that's excellent. And the interest and the, the desire for yes. the knowledge. Yes. yes. Can we give a round of applause to Dallas and his staff for having us today? That part. Yes. Thank you all for bringing us in. We truly do appreciate it. Now, I was a little late. <laughs> But I'm so grateful and thankful for the opportunity just to showcase my work. Um, thank you to Dallas, to Private Label Extensions, to the entire team for having us today. Um, you all are truly rock stars. So yes. back to the scheduled program, and we're going to check this glue one more time, okay? Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. That's feeling tighter and tighter. Oh, yes. So I want you all to see something. Now, of course, we started out. See how I'm touching and nothing is coming off of the spatula? Now, there might be just like that. See the difference? This area is still a little wet, so the product is coming up just a little bit. Whereas in some other areas, it's coming up but a lot more resistant. And in some areas, it's not coming up at all. We want it to fully not come up at all. Be as tacky as possible. This is the one time where tackiness is appreciated. <laughs> okay? We want it to be nice and sticky. So just a few more moments of that. So um, is there a reason for that? Like it's just that, is my skin just warmer in those areas? Is the glue a little thicker? Like um, it could be a few things. Your skin could be warmer in certain areas. Um, the application, so maybe I put a little bit more glue in certain areas okay. than I did before. Mm -hmm. um, all, all types of things. If you're sitting on a fan on this side, this side mm. will probably dry a little faster than it did on this side. Um, so just keeping all of those elements, you know, in mind and in thought. Great questions. So we have people from Texas. What else? Alabama. Alabama. No, was it Mississippi? Mississippi. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Texas, Mississippi. Shout out. Where Shout Where are you out. from? Shout out. Because I feel like this is universal. Like everybody's wanting this right now. Oh, literally, mm -hmm. it is the thing. It is. It's the moment. It's definitely a, mo a movement. And you guys are leading. <laughs> I'll run with that. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to have Brandon here, and I'm going to get some stills before we go ahead. <laughs> we got all the sides. And Did we? we? Show the back, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Okay.
um, look straight into the mirror and then do one looking at the corner okay. where the paint colors meet. And I think it's time. <laughs> All right. So if you're just joining us, we're going to do a quick recap. Cool. My model here, we've already did the prep cut. We've already cleaned the area for the extensions. We've now added the glue. And now we're going to go ahead and install the pre-made unit where you can get this purchased at Private Label Extensions. All right. Oh, don't forget about the line. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did go ahead and create that hairline. Create that hairline where we wanted to have that placement. So that is That's there. That's what as I well. want the most. No. <laughs> <laughs> have you got to have that line. Got to have that hairline. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So I want to show you a few things. So when you're installing, you just want to make sure that you're actually installing in the correct place. So the front of the unit compared to the side, compared to the back. So the great thing about these units, just like your hair, they do mimic hair. So everyone has their growth pattern in their scalp. This also has a growth pattern in it. And so you will just look underneath to see where the light is shining through the most. Or you can also see it here and see which way the waves are going. And they'll tell the story of the hair in the pattern. So you just wanna pay sh extremely close attention. The area with the most is going to be the front. The area with the least is the back. And then you could see for yourself, although very much a circle, you could see that those are the sides, okay? So we're gonna go ahead. What I like to do, I don't like to cut anything. I like to go ahead and in um, install it with the lace intact. Say that one more time. I like to install it with the lace intact. What does that mean? So the excess lace, oh, thank you. Uh-huh, no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this excess lace here, does everybody know what lace is first? They do. Okay. 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 <laughs> so this excess lace, um, depending on the stylist, they go ahead and cut this. I preferably like to use this to put and install the application of the unit on Got and you. then go ahead and cut the excess because it's going to be some hair that's excess as well. So cut it on the model. Cut it on the model on, or, or on a client. client. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense because that also gives you a little bit more room to move it, right? Yes. And you can go ahead if you've misplaced it, um, take a look. No, I don't like it there or whatever the case may be. You are able to move it. So I'm going to go ahead and have Brandon lean back. And feel free, you all, to get participation from your clients mm -hmm. because it does help. So where we place that line, I have the unit in hand, and we're just going to go ahead and line it up. I like to go over a little bit for my line, and we're going to line it where that is. So okay. let's see here. As you're doing that, someone said, yeah, this is good. Much appreciated. Oh, thank you. Yes. Are you is a stylist a style? or a client? Oh. Yeah. I think this is a stylist as well. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, have they tried it or have you tried it? I, I can talk directly yeah, to okay. you. I, I, you know what? Asking that, um, I think this is the person that's driving. So you might not oh, want this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the person that's driving. You might not want this person to answer the question. I right. feel like they may need to pull over Just to the pull side. Just pull, pull, pull over. Go on and pull over. Go pull over. Text them and let them know you're coming. Okay. <laughs> Hold right here. Say, Pull over. Okay. That's too bad. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing before we start, I went ahead and lined it up, and I'm just having him hold. Now there is still going to be some gapping there, but that's completely fine. I'm going to turn him to the side so you can see, or to the side back rather. I'll get this up for me. Mm -hmm. Right there. Go ahead and pull up. And you want to make sure it's nice and taut. You don't want any air bubbles, any rippling of material. So you want to make sure you're taking your time and smoothing that all the way down. And that's why we have him holding <coughs> that in place. 
because until it's set, you don't want any shifting going on. And I'm not feeling any discomfort or anything. It feels actually pretty nice. You can let that know. Thank okay. you for sharing that. I was going to ask you, how did it feel on you? It feels great. Perfect. And you and just want to make sure. Oh, go ahead. I was just about to say, I can actually feel it adhering to the... To the glue? Uh-huh, to the glue. All right. So this is where we are. The unit is now on, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> we can use you in one of those uh, Black Panther movies, baby. Exactly. Yes. Sign me up. I think this is the style today. <laughs> I think this is it. We'll put it in Yes. <laughs> All right. So now that it's on, you're not done just yet. I personally like to use my can i'm not going to show the brand uh but we know what this yellow can is <laughs> okay i'll do it i'll pull it out myself like i'm gonna use this brand yes and so anything that's round that's hard i use it as a salon rolling pin um because i actually want to oh, what go a good tip. and roll out any mm. air bubbles to make sure the lace is secured into that glue mm. you might want to patent something like that mm -hmm. Okay. I never even thought about that. Tim. <laughs> rolling pin, hair rolling pin, hair Tim. Rolling pin. Baby, y'all seen it here first. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. And so I'm just taking the time to go ahead and roll this completely out. Again, not hurting the client at all. Mm -mm. Yet for firm. Because yes, it needs to be. It is. And you can hear the air bubbles popping. I as literally you. can hear it. Yeah. Mm hmm This is great nuggets here. Yes. All of them are great nuggets. All right. And then after we do that, let's take it a step further. Our rat tail comb. And we're just gonna part in pie or pizza sections. And literally go in with the comb. I can turn you a little bit so they can see. Okay. And then tilt over for me. Mm -hmm. You're going to go in and just smooth that in again. Let's get a scalp. It, ooh. <laughs> Let me get a, a good parting for you so you scalp. can see what's going on. Yeah, let's zoom oh, in on that. <laughs> we got it. We, baby, we have it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all beat me too. Yeah. We beat you. Yes. <laughs> get a scalp, baby. And as you can see, don't be afraid to um, move the hair um, to disconnect those wave patterns because we're going to reset that shortly. So you can go ahead and comb. You want to make sure in this moment that the hair is as uh, secured as possible. And as a client, that actually makes me feel better because I, I'm going to just go about my day. So I want to know that it's secure and me feeling like um, those specific things were done, like going through with the comb and using what's going to be patent uh, as a <laughs> yes. rolling pin, hair rolling pin. Yes. It, it makes me feel very secure about the unit itself. Yes. So this question is for you, Brandon. Uh -huh. um, so be that you are a wearer uh -huh. of the product, um, how long do, does these normally last for you, uh, especially you being so highly active um, as a personal trainer, uh, bodybuilder, all of that? Um, a unit can last me about a month, and that's with um, regular Proper. haircuts. Right, and, and, you use, and properly taking care of it. Correct? Exactly. Properly taking care of it means um, basically keeping it touched up within that month, okay. um, going to your stylist, because you, you still need to get your regular haircuts sure. um, with it. So about a month on one of these units. Okay. Now, as far as the made units, mm -hmm. Aaron, what do you think about two? Two to three weeks, to three typically. Weeks. The thing that I like to do with the custom units is that um, because they are custom, custom, you're able to go in and go ahead and do any patchwork needed. That that part, yeah. So around two to three weeks, you would need to see your stylist, but we would just do what's called maintenance. Mm -hmm. And we would go in and um, 
fill anything that needs to be filled, reapply, cut, basically make the install look brand new all over again. Right. Awesome. So we're looking at a, uh, a month usage for a unit that's already pre-made mm -hmm. and one that is custom made. We're looking at about two weeks and within that you will be doing um, maintenance by adjusting um, to whatever needs. If something comes up, if you need to add, if you need to cut down, whatever the case may be. Correct. Correct. And let and me say this. We're not saying a month just because we want you to come back and book another appointment. No. You have to keep in mind that this is extensions. This is something that you're right. adding to yourself, right. that you're covering your scalp. Brandon, again, is a full trainer. His everyday life, lifestyle, the things that he does, so it's sweat, bacteria, buildup under here. Speak it. So you want to make sure that you're cleansing their scalp, that you're truly shampooing, that you're taking the time to make sure that the client's scalp isn't um you know at risk for any kind of infection bacteria cut scrape whatever the case may be you truly want to take care of the unit and your client now the great thing about these units is they are reusable so That's with the proper cleansing think. techniques with the proper install you're able to then take this same unit take it off cleanse it shampoo reapply exactly good point Thank you so much. Excellent and point. Yes. Mm -hmm. So your client has purchased the unit itself and it can be reused. Absolutely. So that's also for stylists, that's an up service for you for cleaning the cleaning the, the old units. And for patrons or clients, that is a benefit for you because you don't have to buy hair again. Absolutely. Mm. Say that one more time. <laughs> it's a benefit for the clients because you do not have to buy hair again. You can use this unit and kind of, it, it depends on what you've done to it, kind of get another style out of it oh, too. Oh, yeah. Right. Because what I did, I didn't tell you this, but uh, a client that we both know uh -huh. started out with these waves. Okay. Baby, by the time I went in there and gave her some point cutting, <laughs> baby, she was an old soul glow, wavy, right. wavy moment going on. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We turned those waves into some wet and wavy. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the possibilities are endless. That's true. Absolutely endless. And keep in mind for those that are um, questioning the uh, questioning reusing the unit. It, it looks natural when you get ready to stop, start another style, mm -hmm. like your hair just grew out. So it's not like you're, you're coming with long hair one day and then the next day you got short hair or the next day you got even longer hair. Right. It actually looks like your hair just grew out. Right. I love this. I love it. I love it. Now, again, it's giving me the confidence that I want to add this into my head. Hey. Yeah. And so, even though I hate hair, and it, it, someone would say, you're, you're, you're a hair stylist, so you hate hair. <laughs> I hate hair. This is why I shave my head all the time. But, Aaron, you, you know, you're going to be modest, and um, you're not going to share. Um, but I'm going to share. You are a stylist of the stars, baby. <laughs> okay? You are a stylist of the stars, and you've done multiple people. Uh, I won't call out the people you've done. Okay. However, unless you want me to. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have done some great work. And one of the ones I saw uh, is a person who has alopecia. The reason why I'm saying that mm. is because this is a, a, a plug for, not for us, but a plug for people who have alopecia who, Absolutely. who may want this service. So I saw someone who has that, mm -hmm. and I saw the finished work. Up close and personal, as well as on the Instagram, as well as on their platform. Oh, did it look the same across it all the of them? Same across all three. <laughs> Thank you. Live, Thank you. Your Instagram and their Instagram. Yeah. So it looked like it grew right out of their their head. So great job. Thank um, you. Thank I'm you. I'm sure, like you. I said, we're live. You don't have to share who that is, but. You can go on her Instagram and look and see who that is. <laughs> well, I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, um, okay. And he won't mind either. So one of my really, really good clients is Norman Freeman. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and so Norman uh, actually was born with hair. Yeah. Um, but as through the years, as he began to grow um, and go throughout middle school and high school, he started to lose his hair. Um, and that's when he was diagnosed with alopecia. Um, and so... 
he did not want to stay in that predicament, right? He wanted to have that versatility, uh, the versatility rather, and then he wanted to make sure whether it was a Bob, whether it was a Caesar fade with the deep waves, yeah. you know, he wanted to make sure that he had all of the styles and capability. And so we've been styling him now six or seven times. Um, and he's just become one of my all time favorite clients just because he's such a genuine spirit. Um, but Dallas is absolutely right. Those who suffer with ailments of the body, cancer, alopecia, um, different things that cause uh, hair loss, thyroid problems, um, you know, and this service is not only for men, but women as well. Mm -hmm. Although I named it Mantrax, um, that is the predominant customer service, right? But anyone, non binary, women, you know, anyone is able for this service, so don't let the name deter you from that. Um, but it is also a good thing to have for those clients who might not feel um, any hope, you mm -hmm. know, and to be able to give that um, that empowerment back and to encourage and to be able to, you know, give that confidence back to them is such an amazing thing. Such an amazing thing. So he is, as you can see, fully applied. And now... Let's get into some cutting, shall we? Yes. Yes. Now, for the barbers, hairstylists, this is your shining moment right here. This is your this moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. Yeah, where you take this and create it into something that's wearable every day Absolutely. for your client. Absolutely. And I'm just going to pin this hair back a little bit here. Okay. And as you can see, I want to show this. Mm -hmm. The lace is lifting. Uh, not yet. Okay. The lace is lifting, but that's before we have the glue. So again, I have to go over the hairline just a little bit, just to make sure that it is fully covered. So I don't want you to be distracted from that. That is normal. Good tip. Thank you. Because I was in my head thinking that it goes directly at the, at the hairline. Yeah. Yeah. I like, to, I like to go ahead um, and just give it a little spillage. That I makes like, sense. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. to give it a little spillage so that way you're not um, sort of stuck. You have some wiggle room and some play room. Very true. Do you have a comment? Okay. Says, yes, love this. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Where are you tuning in from? You know, it takes me a second to answer that particular question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said shout out to Norman that we already did that in there. Yes, shout out Norman. Norman Freeman. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's what we were about to do. Ha ha, silly me. And again, while you all are watching, I do offer these classes one on one. Um, so if you want to make sure. Uh, you have all of the knowledge. My classes do come with the product list. So everything that I use to get the desired style, you'll have in your kit to start off with. Oh, wow, they get a kit? They get a full kit. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That's mm. not bad. <laughs> you know I like fitness. Okay, a yeah. kit this A kit this baby. Drop them off with six packs. Yes. See from Minnesota. Come on, Minnesota. So we got some range today. We're going from the north to the south. <laughs> I love it. All right. And you could just take whatever clipper you like. Um, I'm going to use the Babyliss in my walls today. And I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the number five guard just to get some of the bulk <clears throat> and the weight out, some of the extra length. I don't want to cut too low at first. You can always go back and cut more. Baby, once this hair is off this unit, <laughs> it's you right. cannot put it back on. Well, actually, if you, if you know how to ventilate, shout out to me, Shameless Club. You can't, <laughs> but we don't want to, okay? <laughs> we don't want to do that. So you just want to take your time. This is not a speed race. You just want to take your time. And as you can see, remember how I told you all, don't be afraid to comb those waves out, to comb those curls out. You can see the more that you cut, the more those waves are coming back in. So you didn't lose anything. And a good thing to know is that with your wear um, and tear, I shouldn't say wear and tear, but with your normal day-to-day -day wear of your unit, that is something that will reset as well. So if you haven't, um, if your waves aren't aligned like you would prefer, then you can go ahead 
and reset them and go ahead and get them back popping like you need to. And by reset, do you mean adding some type of product or? Yes, so okay. I preferably like to use Nairobi as a setting uh, to go ahead and do my mold. Mm -hmm. However, private label does have one. Do we have oh. some to use today? Right behind you on the wall. Oh, shake it up. First of all, let's go. I'm gonna go through the whole line. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's put the clippers down. Pause for the call. Follow me, camera. Follow me. <laughs> all right. So, let's start with the lace tint. Now, if you do not know what lace tint is, lace tint is what you're going to use to blend the lace color, the original color, with your skin complexion. And Private Label does have three shades. It does come in your dark brown, your light warm brown, and your light brown. So three different shades for your lace. Then we have our velvet argan oil. Yes. Now, Dallas, would you like to tell about this just a little bit? I mean, well, it's again, it's 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 what I love to use on the yeah. hair when I'm prepping the hair and or when I'm smoothing out hair. It okay. smells in. Yes. Oh, that does smell good. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells incredible. Yes. And right now, we do not have it on the website. I've been using it every time I go somewhere. Everyone is like, oh my God, give it to me, give it to me, give and it to me. I don't have it on the website yet. Mikey, uh -huh. Mikey, Mikey, who's listening? <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, go ahead and put that on the website soon. Yeah, so, so we can sell it out. Right, so we can sell out. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yes. Next, we do have the edge control by Private Label Extensions. I'm just going to unscrew the top just so you can see. You do have your edge control in there. Again, an amazing smell. Oh, it smells good. Yes. Oh, I love a product that smells Ooh, good. Can we just have you to come here every day? You're every, every day. I will. I will. <laughs> I'll do it. Because you're just getting the products, and I'm talking about the love you're giving to us. Thank yes. You so yes. They need to know it's a one stop shop. Oh. That's true. <laughs> They need to know. Mm -hmm. They need to know. Yeah, they, they should have saw that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we do have our foam wrap lotion here. And this is what I'm going to be using on the model on Brandon today. So I'm just going to keep this to the side. Yeah, now, keep that to the side. This is my <laughs> own down there. I'm going to put it in this bag. Uh-huh. Yes. So then we do have some more, and I'm going to move quickly, but we do have some lace paste, um, some paste erase, which is to cleanse your unit, yep. to take the glue off. Baby, I'm tired of seeing y'all on Instagram snatching these wigs off. Ooh, I'm God. quite tired of seeing it. And here's the thing. They want to blame the wigs for breaking their hair off, I'm but so you... <laughs> but they're not going to tell that they didn't snatch it from, right. the, right. from the North Pole to the South Pole, <laughs> from the <laughs> East to the West. All the edges. All of it. <laughs> and now as a client, I done worked so hard to get those edges restored. Right. And you driving down 285 pulling your wig off. <laughs> okay. Because that makes sense. What? You know? Get you some. Because I just seen them on 20 plenty of times. Uh, uh, <laughs> 20, 20 going west. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that about right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. So get yourself, get yourself some paste erase. All you have to do is apply a generous amount on the lace. Let it sit, massage it in. Now, I'm not going to mess up that good contour now. You just <laughs> go ahead and massage it in, and then you'll be able to go ahead and peel that up. All you have to do is spray a little bit on an extra towel if you missed any spot, and let that come right on off. Mm -hmm. And it protects your lace. Stop oh, ripping your point. lace. Yeah. It protects Bass. the lace, okay? Bass. All right. And that does come in the oil as well. The other one that you're looking at, that's when you clean the actual wig itself. So you Which one? This one? Mm -hmm. Oh. See, uh, mm -hmm. When you are, that's for the wig. So when you have any extra lace that's uh, glue that's on the wig, that's what you spray on it. It's see ya. See you later, baby. Get it gone. Get it off. See you later. <laughs> yes. Perfect. 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 And then again, as we've already seen, Dallas has brought to us, but they do have the paste in both acrylic and regular in the regular white. Our shampoos, conditioners, um, it looks like we have some more of the velvet argan oil and our oil extract. And baby, did you get into the back here okay, of what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they got what you need. It's, it's 
it's a one, what did you say? It's, it's a, a one-stop one shop. It's a one-stop shop. Definitely one that. And then we have tools that's behind you as well, which is your curling <laughs> hair, your scissor hair, your baby. Um, now, you might want to go out of here with a... Yes, you might absolutely. Wanna, you might want to go out of here with a blow dryer today. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're going to use it. Uh -huh. I know you're going to use so it. So basically, what you're telling me, just take one of everything. See? <laughs> that's what I heard from my spirit. That's what, from that's what I heard. <laughs> wow. wow, wow. Okay, Aaron, I'm not going to... And let's get a steal withholding. Uh, let, let's just see. One second, one second. Let's put this one in there. Ooh, when I tell you advertisement, yeah, <laughs> and then you're gonna get your head again. Cause we're gonna get a little steal of it. I'm done. Mean? I'm done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, done. I'm done. Yes. You got the steal. Thank you. Very Perfect. good. Perfect. Thank guys. you Perfect. so much. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you coming every week. And again, that website is www.privatelabelextensions.com. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to the scheduled programming. We're going to go ahead. Again, we're using our Babeless Clippers with our five guard. And I'm just going in and removing any excess length. And you might say, why are you going in with such a high guard and you have so much hair to take out? Stick with the video, baby. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I ain't leave you yet. I ain't leave you. Okay. So there's two different types. Um, with your oh, got a little tear going. Uh -oh. With your um, with your pre-made unit, it's very much get up and go. This is best for the client who's on the run, who doesn't have much time to sit and worry about hair, who's very active, who has maybe you know that hectic lifestyle where you can't commit to your hair every day and do glam for three hours, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be perfect for you now. Both are going to be more so get up and go. The custom made, you do have to do a little bit more maintenance at home after a little wear. So maybe after about day five or six, you might want to touch up on your topics or any on your fibers, making sure like your spraying is fine. You might want to add some sheen, different things of that nature. But the great thing about that satin pillow is that again, it will keep all of the moisture, all of the products, everything that you have put into this client's style and maintain that for them. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very, very easy maintenance. And I'm just cutting this excess. And again, we have not cut the lace yet. All right. So just like before, I'm sorry, Brandon, I can go ahead and take that. Oh, no problem. While you're doing that, um, you uh, applied something on Brandon's face. What is that that you applied and why did you apply that? So this is just a face shield. Again, something you want to build that value into your service, build that value into your client. So a lot of us text, we're on the phone, we're working, we're doing different things like that, or just the hassle of having hair fall into your eyes, mm -hmm. right? This is just a face shield um, and it's very secure, you can see. It's not coming off. You can tug, you can pull, but if you can get a zoom in, you see all of those cut hairs that have now landed on that. That's protecting the client's face, his eyes. Um, if they have makeup, different things like that, no matter what it is, you're able to use that. Another question. Yeah. What if I sweat a lot? This is perfect for people who sweat a lot. Um, I mentioned it earlier, although Brandon is a hairstylist, he also trains and is a personal trainer as well and does bodybuilding. So he hits the gym like six days a week. Yes. Um, and as you can see, we're doing this install today. We're not stopping nothing. <laughs> I, he might go on to the gym today. Right. He might, he might go on to the gym today. Very possible. So what we're going <laughs> to do, we're going to go ahead in those pie shaped sections again, and I'm going to go ahead and cut into the unit and just do a little point cutting. So down for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wanting to go ahead and take out point cutting is just going to remove some of that bulk and some of that thickness inside without taking and moving your length too much. At this point, mm -hmm. um, as a stylist, I feel like this is where you're texturizing the cut. Yes. If, it, if this hair grew naturally out of my head. Correct. This is your point. This is where you just cleaning it up and get ready to style. This is the styling part of you. Correct. And I'm taking just small sections, 
because I want to make sure I'm going in and I really like to thin her out. To me, the more you thin out, the more natural your style becomes. And I got some more tricks for you too with that. And could I just say yeah. that the fact that you're able to go in and thin out is an excellent thing on a unit on that a you unit. just got? We don't want to get the hair and have thinness. Baby. <laughs> now that was shade in TV land. Hey, but it's the, the truth. Shade. But it was true. <laughs> Baby, y'all buying these see-through wigs. Yes. Can't see the hair if you had glasses if on. If you blow I'm on done. it. Baby. If you blow on it, you can see through it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so you do. Yes. Right. Come on, dandelion. So yes, private label extensions, they do have good thickness to their units that you're able Quality. to in and maintain and make your own quality people that's what we're preaching today <laughs> that's what gets the people going it's the quality yeah okay? it's the quality so is there any product or tools anything that you suggest not to use on the on the unit um, for the unit, mm -hmm. is there anything that I would say don't use? Mm -hmm. Like a oil or is, is there anything that you think we should stay away from? Give me a sec. I definitely, the do-rags for sure. The, oh yeah, you did mention that earlier. The do-rags for, for sure, stay away from them. For the people that just joined us. Yes. Why not to use the do-rag? Um, so the do-rag does a few things. Mm -hmm. It traps the heat which then causes irritation of the scalp. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't allow the hair to breathe, but then you also are smushing your install and your glue. Oh, and you point. don't want to do that. Um, you don't want to do that at all. And then, let's see here. So I also noticed that you chose not to cut the lace first. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason behind that? Because it's just a part of that foundation. So I'm using that extra right now just to give um, some more stability while we're going in and doing all of this. Instead okay. of the unit, um, the pulling, the tugging, different things like that happening with the lace being pre-cut, which could then cause your lace to lift. Gotcha. Um, having it sort of not adhered as much around the sides and that excess sort of gives a little bit more um, room for tension. Okay. Yeah. Let me put down for me just so they can see. Mm-hmm. Anybody got a question? Is the shower cap mandatory? Mandatory. So yes. what I personally, personally recommend, um, for the first 24 to 48 hours, if possible, I recommend taking a bath. Uh, the reason why is because the steam in the air and the atmosphere will cause the glue to not cure. Now, for everyone, that might be a luxury, and so you might not be able to take a full bath. Showers are okay. You just want to make sure you're taking a warm shower versus a hot, steaming shower. Making sure you're leaving that door open so all the steam can evade. Making sure you're putting a shower cap on to protect from any splashes, any steam getting underneath there. So you just want to be as cautious as possible. Although with the pre-made units, they are able to get wet, you are able to do different things. You just want to be careful. Great question, you all. And they definitely are able to get wet, just, just to put that out there. Now, don't go don't swimming go, in the Mississippi River, baby. Right. But that, we don't want Even that. Even though I did. Jesus. I did go swimming. In the Mississippi River? Not in the Mississippi River. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> just not in the river. <laughs> but I also knew that I had to have my appointment scheduled when I came back from the beach. Right. But I, I was long and flowy for the beach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we love it. We love it. And so what I'm doing now, you all, still cutting. I started off with the wave uh, where the uh, pattern was, and I'm working my way down and around. Doing the same thing, just taking out that length. Did you turn a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I did that. Produce a <laughs> Yes. 
And are we good on time? Or how are we on time? We are great. Okay, perfect. Do what you do. Okay. Free as your man. Side note, for barbers, this would be an excellent class to take one-on-one. -on -one. Um, or with your whole oh, with salon. The team. With yeah, the that's true. With your full slot. Because this is a service that's being asked for more and more for barbers. Yeah. That's very good. A lot of barbers are asking about that. Um, and so, again, being able to take that one-on-one -on -one class with you, as we said, stay professional. Yes. Uh -huh. And get that one-on-one -on -one hands-on class with you where you're able to give them all the details about how to complete this unit. Mm -hmm. All the details and all the tools. And all the tools, because you get hit miss. Hit miss, man. <laughs> And now they know where to get the unit from. Right. Exactly. Private label. Exactly. And again, do you offer follow-ups for your students? Because that's one of the things that educators, you know, I'm, I'm going to call it out. Call it out. I'm going to call it out. It's one of the things that challenges me with educators when they go, oh, come and take my class. And it's $4,000 for your class. Mm -hmm. It's seven. Thousand dollars for your class and three thousand dollars for your class, and it's a look and learn. Yeah. You sit down and you look and learn, but there's no more connection after they gave, after they got that seven thousand from you. Right. Yes. So let me start by saying my one-on-one -on -one classes are affordable. Um, we do have payment options and arrangements made for you as well. Not only does not only does the class come with a kit. Um, but you also receive information on where to purchase an order from. You'll have a, a direct connection with Dallas so you can order your units. And then we also do a six month follow up, six month to a year follow up, where we'll get in, in person or on Zoom for 45 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. Any questions you have after you've taken the class, after you've been able to apply some units, work with some clients. You know, those follow-up questions, I want to be there with you to help and to make sure that I'm answering all of those questions for you. Amazing. Amazing. That's awesome. Thank you. Now, Dallas, one, I know you said I got you talking a lot today, but I do yes. need this information. Yes. What is the ordering process like for them? So, right now, currently, what they can do is go online. And, Mikey, I know you're watching. Um, Mikey uh, will have this online for them. Okay. So as of tomorrow, this will be up and live online so that they can go on and order their purchases. Perfect. Now, if you don't want to order it, if you're not in Atlanta, you can come right on down to the uh, Atlanta store, 1260 Memorial Drive. 1216 60, Memorial? 1260. 1260. 1260. If you're in Atlanta, mm -hmm. you can drop by our store, our retail store, and you'll be able to purchase one of these units uh, today if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, however, if you're looking for it online, uh, we should have that available for you as of tomorrow that you can go on and pick up one of these beautiful, amazing, full units that's not see-through. That part. And honestly, this is a moment where even if you're not ready to start, um, offering this to your client, you want to go ahead and get a unit Ooh. just to play around with it. To practice. Ooh. Yes, because I don't, Aaron, I know you can vouch for this. Mm -hmm. Touching the hair oh. and feeling it, playing around with it, cutting it, and styling it at the privacy of your own home first is an excellent thing. Oh, it's a wonderful before thing. Before you get it on that client. Don't do no uh oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, what's your hours, Dallas? Okay, our hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we are Monday through Saturday. On Saturday, we are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I don't want y'all at home. I'm sorry, home. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I don't want y'all at home. Private labels, his clothes, talking about some uh oh. <laughs> and now you got a client. No, get you a unit, practice, yeah, investing. Yeah, play yourself. around with it. That's investment. Just a, a little tip. We, as stylists, we should always have a little bit of invest investment money. Yes. Because we, we got to continue to educate ourselves. Continued education, which is the professionals, what we have to do every year to stay a professional. That part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that part. That part. Continued education. A lot of people don't like to hear when we say that. Oh, Aaron, I feel like you're doing something. Ooh. I'm I just feel going a little... in and... 
taking some out. Mm. Yeah, just doing mm. a little texturizing. Right. right. Texture. That's all. Just a little. A little now behold the lamb. That's yeah. <laughs> a little texture. We got a question from Brandon. Okay. Is there any, is there any necessity preparation prior to a man of weeds installed? That's for you, Brandon. Oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there any, say that again for me? Is there any necessity preparation prior to a man of weeds installed? For me, there wasn't any preparation because I had a stylist that was good. <laughs> so I didn't really have to do anything. My stylist did everything. She already had my haircut completed. Um, and then when we sat down today, um, we went through etching out my guide for my actual line, mm -hmm. um, which I like the fact that Aaron included me in that process because I need to know where my line is going to fall so I feel comfortable with it as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, there wasn't any preparation for me, <laughs> but she did everything. And, of course, she gives the consultation, um, and you guys are having that conversation. Exactly. Well. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of their preparation. Yep. Sorry, I had to slip on. You know that there's a mirror back there, and once you look at that mirror over there on that side, we can see. Over here? Yeah, we can. So I can walk to this mirror? Oh, you walk to that mirror and look at yourself. Oh, okay, perfect. You didn't know that. No, I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, you know. Yeah. Are there any questions right now? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. And I'm glad that you're showing that this is not just something you pop on and it's like, oh, it's you know, one, two, three. I'm oh, done. no. Very no. true. This yeah. is this is you're really creating this for Brandon mm -hmm. on his head as you're working. Right. So Which is, is how it should be. This which is how it should be. This yeah. Is you're personalizing it for Brandon. Right. <laughs> Custom. It's custom. Mm -hmm. It's custom. So, again, this is why that service is priced where it needs to be priced. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you just didn't come and glue this on their head and said, all right, Freddie, you're done. Right. See you later. Mm -hmm. 300. Goodbye. Precision cutting. Uh, and that's what they're paying for is your skill set mm -hmm. and doing what you do. Because some people wouldn't understand what you're doing when you're sliding that shear through the actual unit. You are you are actually texturizing the hair. Yes. Yep. That's that skill, baby. Yes. 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 I can't say who. You know, y'all about to take a guess. Who taught me? <laughs> I'm gonna say he here. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be here, but shout out to Dallas for teaching me some cutting techniques. You know, down at the Paul Mitchell. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Yes. I'm leaving y'all. I'm gonna leave down with y'all. I'm done. <laughs> uh, so we just wanna comb out any additional and you could see the extra hair just falling out, just coming straight out from where we cut. And we just want to take that now. This is the interesting thing. I did all of that point cutting and I've did all of the texturizing and I'm still about to get now go in with the clippers again a lower guard and go down the reason i did that is because if i would have went straight down at first i wouldn't have been able to take out some of the density that i needed now that the density is gone i can concentrate on my okay that's a helpful tip yes 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 And as a client, I really don't feel anything. It feels very secure. The glue, I can tell, is completely dry. Mm -hmm. Nothing's on my skin that's hurting me. Um, it feels awesome, actually. 
Well, that was going to be my next question for you, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that people in the audience would want to know, as the wearer of it, does it feel like you have something like, you know, sitting on your head? And will you be able to, you know, I mean, is it, is it irritating? That's, that's the question. Not at all. It's not irritating at all. I, and I don't want to say that I can't feel anything because I do feel that it's on my head, but it doesn't feel like, for example, a cap. It does not feel that way. Um, it almost feels like a part of me now. <laughs> That's a little weird to say, but um, it does not feel like I'm, I could be insecure about it. And so you all were just going in again, taking off that additional length. And now you can see sort of where that unit starts. So again, we did not cut off any lace yet. So that is coming soon. Making sure we have all of this. This is a great um, option for people that want to try different colors too. Mm -hmm. um, without committing? Right, without committing to it. So those, style, those clients that, even if they have hair, you could utilize this unit just to try something new for them. Absolutely. The process is a little different, but they can do it. These units can also be used for that process. I'm glad you said that, Brandon, because mm -hmm. this process, there's different processes and steps for different client needs. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to, again, sign up for the one-on-one -on -one class so we can teach you what those are and when they should be used. All right. So I'm getting a full unit today, basically. You would yes. consider this a full unit. Yes. But there is a, 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 a space where you don't have to use the full unit, right? Absolutely. Uh huh. So what curl pattern is it? Six, ten, or twelve? Oh, I actually don't know because Private Label gifted this to me. So I'm gonna let Dallas tap in right here. So that is our uh, wavy because it, we have three different textures. Okay. Um, and so with our different textures, we have the Afro kinky, and then we have the Afro curly, and then we have the wavy, uh, which is that's what we're using now is the wavy. Uh, it does come with either you'll have the lace or you'll have the medical skin. Uh, so today we chose the lace with the wavy texture. So we, you called it something else. We did C-stick. We gave, we gave it a new name. What was your oh, name? Oh yeah. We, uh, it was C-stick, I want to say. Yeah, it, was, it was something that they so We gave a good old name. There's Mikey coming in here now. Hi, Hi how Mikey. are you? Hi. Welcome <laughs> in. Did you hear us chiming in saying you're going to add stuff actually, online? Yeah, man? yeah, I actually was checking the private list Instagram because I've had Nick sit here for two hours and I haven't seen one thing on private list Instagram. <laughs> 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 He's seen more than one thing. He's seen three. Uh-oh. <laughs> Spiciness coming yeah. in the room. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> So, mm. Ooh, what's the length on this one? This is, I don't know because I didn't check. Dallas, I'm going to pull you in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull you. I haven't measured this one. That, I didn't measure that one. So we didn't we'll that. get back to you guys on the measurements. Um, I want to say this is an 8 by 10 though. You think? Just okay. guessing? Based off of the size? Yeah, based okay. off the size. Based off the size of your head? Based off the size of my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Which also. Which I have gotten no complaints about. No complaints. Perfect. You know what? <laughs> Y'all will always take it. Oh my God. Gotta keep you Where on your toes. Woo! Toe <laughs> this is a <laughs> <laughs> Antoinette says, I was going to ask that too about if there are 
partial units or pieces mm. for different client needs. Yes. yes. So you are, one thing that I love to do with this, you are able to create custom molds of your clients head, their head shape, and their needing area where they are. What I mean by that is, take this unit off, I saw his area that needed servicing, we would be able to go ahead and do an exact mold replica that then we could send in and get that made. Um, also, we can go ahead and make sure that that area, because these are lace and the medical gray skin material, you're able to cut and do any type of aligning and place it wherever you need. So maybe you have a client who has a patch or a bald area, thinning area here, but the hairline is perfectly intact. Then now you are able to go ahead and get that area and restore where they're needed. Brandon, you were right. Your head is an eight by 10. Thank you. Mike, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, it's an eight by 10. All right, we got the measurements on it. We've got the yes. measurements on it. Look at those waves, baby. They are sick. Sickening. <laughs> Sickening. I'm getting seasick now. Yes. I feel like I'm on a cruise ship. <laughs> In the Caribbean, baby. All right. And so now we are about to cut. Brennan, so it's over for me. Okay. And it's very simple, you all. I like to go ahead and fold up. So as you can see, this is where the unit has been applied. This is the excess that we discussed. And then we're going to go straight in. And I'm going to cut all the way to where that glue starts. I personally like to go as close as possible. So I make one slit here. You need me to hold it? Nah, okay. yet. I'm going to do the same in the back. Tilt down for me just a little. I'm going to fold up. And I'm going to make another slit here. Again, bringing that directly to that glue. So you have that. And the reason why you will see shortly is because once we start cutting, we want to make sure that we're not pulling on different areas. And so this gives that tension release that we need. Mm. So you can have a precise cut. Got it. Correct. And then we're going to do the same here in the front. So that's one. Okay. So again, this is a process. Very much so, yes. And we love that you are giving a small mini class here. And I love that you keep plugging that, hey, if you want to have that one-on-one -on -one class, I am available. <laughs> Where can they find you? Um, on all platforms. That's T-H-E-E-E-R-I-N-T-A-Y-L-O-R. That's the Aaron Taylor, the one and only. <laughs> Mikey, we have to bring Erin um, back. She just went through all the products and started going through products. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let's do a commercial. <laughs> yes. So can you tell us what you're doing now? So I am cutting off the additional lace. So just so you can see here, this is the hairline forehead area region. And so I peeled back and then I cut to that. So you can see there's still a little bit more, but we're going to clean that up with the final lining. I just want to get the excess lace off. Now, a secret. Some people throw these away. Don't. These little scraps. They this don't. is what we were talking about when the, you need those little pieces just for a client. This is when you can use that. So you're using your money on the entire unit. Yes. Get so your keep those pieces. Value. Yes. And where can they shop? Pardon me. Where can they shop? Where can they shop? Uh huh. Where can they get one of these? Here? Where can they shop? Where can? <laughs> can we look back one more time? Let's... <laughs> private, private label. label. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. The energy is great. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And so I'm just doing that all the way around. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. Can I tilt right here, please? And again. Can you all see? I'm going right here. So this is right where his natural hair and the extension line meets. I'm cutting right there. Now, the trick is you don't want to be blunt with the hair and create a blunt cut. You mm -hmm. want to go in, leave this excess hair there so it can blend into the natural mm -hmm. hair. Don't just blunt cut that, girl. Y'all gonna be looking like 
bowl cut. Who was that? What's that famous bowl cut character? Mm, I know that. Exactly. <laughs> real. Exactly. Giving real that. But yeah. that's not what we want. We yeah. want natural. Again, these should just be an extension of your client, not necessarily telling the client's story for them. Again, that's where we are when we think about cutting lace on our women. When mm -hmm. you're cutting the lace in the front, you don't want to have a straight line. You want it more realistic. Correct. Right. Very organic. And so you can see there's hair leaving over to blend. And mm -hmm. we're going to cut that down some more as well. Let's see here. Get to that corner. And just to point out, there's no pain here. I don't feel any tension. I honestly just feel like I'm getting a haircut. Okay. That's good information uh, mm -hmm. for, for the audience as well because you're not only getting the information that Erin, uh, what she's giving, but we're also getting the information from the wearer of the product. Mm -hmm. All right. Wearing it for five years, Brandon. Yes. Thank you so much <laughs> for chiming in and giving us those details. Absolutely. Because it feels completely comfortable. Like, um, I don't feel any pain. Uh, I just feel like I'm getting my hair cut. <laughs> And the texture of the hair feels really good, too. Mm -hmm. Where can you buy that from? Private label. Oh. <laughs> I was going to look back, but it's shears in my face Ooh, right now. <laughs> you know. uh, someone asked a question, or I think they made a statement. It said, scalp scissors work great to avoid a blunt cut. Oh, okay. So I haven't used scalp scissors as of yet, but now that you've mentioned that, I'm going to try it and let you all know how I feel. Now, how often, um, I haven't, yeah, I haven't used scalp scissors. I love the stylists are chiming in and giving their nuggets as well. I do yeah. too. What are supposed to do in this Yes. Case? Absolutely. Share, share, share mm -hmm. alike. That's what we're here for. All right, and then we're getting this. Okay. We're going to bend back just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to get all of this excess. Now, you will notice for the hairline, I am cutting in a straight line. The only reason for that is because uh, Brandon does want a more defined style in the front. Really? I, I do. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to make sure that that's giving the shape that he wants. All right. And here we have it. So now we've been cut and we're going to go ahead and cut down just a little bit more. But before I do that, let's do a quick recap. Yes. Let's do a, first of all, I'm sorry. Let me get you together. <laughs> we'll clean you up some. Yeah, let me, let me help you out there. I mean, the face guard is helping me. I didn't even know it was up there. You didn't know it was not I didn't know it was there. Well, I, I could see it, and I didn't mm. want you to be on the camera like that. <laughs> just talking with all that on you, you know? Right. All right, perfect. So if you are just joining us again, my name is Erin Taylor. I'm a stylist located here in Atlanta, but I do travel all over to give uh, great quality services to my clients. Um, and today we are at Private Label Extensions, and we are doing a man track seminar. Now this is a webinar, a little live, a one-on-one -on -one training. So you can get the information, knowledge is power, and you can add that value to your services for your clients. So to start, what we have done, we have done his pre-cut. We have cleaned the area and fully determined where his recession points are. We then cleanse the area and then we did go in and place our markings for the hairline. We purchased the unit from Private Label Extension. <laughs> and then we went ahead and applied that, plus using the Private Label Extension glue. Um, and so we let that dry. And so now the unit is on. We did some texturizing. And then we've cut the lace. So now we're going to go in with our clippers again and just do some final blending before we put on our foam wrap and put him under the dryer. This foam wrap? That foam wrap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So this is the point I think that stylists may start to get scared. Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest? Just trusting yourself? Like what is it? Because we're, we're down to a point now where, okay, it's no coming back. Mm -hmm. We can't add any hair on unless, unless you know how to ventilate. <laughs> or you bought two units from private lab. Or if you bought two units. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Okay. But this is the point where maybe a stylist would get nor nervous. Yes, absolutely. Um, I always say little by little. Okay. Don't overcommit. If right. you feel unsure about something, then lead with that meaning. Don't go in and, oh, I'm a one guarded and yeah, no, it's no. not necessary. No. Take your time. You're here to provide a quality service for your client and you want to make sure. And again, that's where that practice comes in. That's mm -hmm. where that continuing education comes in. That's where investing in yourself comes in. But you do want to go ahead and just take your time and slowly but surely blend all of the hair in. Now, one thing that does help with blending with any unit is that, and this is also why it's important to know your client, um, to know what service to provide for them. Um, it does help when your client does have what I like to call the new growth on the sides or the growth on mm -hmm. the side. They leave out, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that leave out because it makes my job a little easier in blending mm -hmm. because I'm now blending with something versus creating the full effect. Oh, that brought to my mind um, when I was scheduling with you. Uh -huh. That's I think that's one thing that you told me in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Allow my hair to grow out as much as I can prior to styling. Prior right? to styling, yeah. yeah. And this is why it's important to, again, have those consultations with your clients prior to, this is the number two guard, by the way, um, having those conversations with your clients prior to, so that way you're able to know what they're looking for. What this client is looking for, another client might not want, another client might not need, um, and so you want to make sure that you're providing the best service for them. And to do that, you have to have a consultation. You don't go to any doctor's office and they start prescribing you medication without first asking you what's wrong. And so if you, you do, you might want to change Ooh, doctors. Baby, now <laughs> you might need to go and do that. <laughs> but we just want to, again, take our time, start cutting down. And I'm following the pattern of the waves. Ooh. So I'm cutting along with that pattern of the waves. Okay. So the, the place where we saw the hair graduate. The spiral. The spiral mm -hmm. in it. That's a good name for it. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You got it. The I spiral in it, it. You're following that. You made it up. I'm right now on the spot. Boom. I couldn't think of the right <laughs> way. That spiral. Spiral it worked. Good to me. It sounded excellent to me. Yes. <laughs> so the spiral, you're taking it from that spiral point and cutting away from it. Cutting into it. So okay. actually, if you look down, uh -huh. you can see your spiral here and you can see where it's going. So for example, here. I'm following my clipper where the direction of that wave is going. Mm. And so you're cutting with the grain instead of against it. And that spiral uh -huh. mimics the natural hair, hair growth. growth. Yes. Excellent point. Absolutely. So I know you're going step by step now. Of course. But where you are comfortable with it at this point with your clients, mm -hmm. about how long does this entire process take you for this specific unit? For this specific unit, mm -hmm. I still take my time with those clients. Gotcha. I never get into a place where I'm feeling rushed um, because I'm an artist, right? And so right. I want to make sure that I'm giving my best to them, but they also don't feel like I'm rushing them. Gotcha. Um, so with the pre-made unit, depending on how how fast you cut, so a typical hair cut, um, a full haircut and shave is 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you go ahead and you do your pre-cutting. 
Um, and then your glue application, that's another 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, your application, your texturizing, all of that, your styling. So I would say between two to three hours for a pre-made unit. Perfect. That yeah. sounds good. Two to three hours for a pre-made unit. Mm -hmm. And that's an excellent point for the stylist. How are you? Hey, for the stylists that are online right now, um, that two to three hour window you definitely want to make sure your client knows that because they're not walking in and just getting um, now a 45 minute to an hour haircut. Right. It has become two to three hours for them, which is definitely worth it. Um, I've sat longer for some styles. Mm -hmm. So I, two, or three, two to three hours, that's nothing. Yeah. They can bring their laptop. You Works. can entertain them. <laughs> I don't know. However you want to do it. But it's definitely worth those two to three hours. Absolutely. And so we're just steady cutting. I'm going to bring you here just so we can show that breakdown. And are we in, in editing? We're going to put the before and the after where we are now side by side so you could just see those differences. Oh, you know what? We have to edit that. That's no, okay, and post later on. Not right now. Not right now. I was going to Aaron Honey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, not right now. Later hey, on. Used to do a lot of work over here. Yeah, later on. Not right now. And we're just continuously cutting this down. Okay. How are you? Oh, you brushing me down. Ooh, I feel good. Lay it down. Right. <laughs> As a man without hair, uh -huh. like that feels so awesome. <laughs> 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 that you can brush my hair down. Yeah. <laughs> done with cutting again this is a multi-step process right so after we get him under the, from under the dryer then we'll go in with a little bit more cutting patience is the key here for this install uh oh sanitize sanitize go get that sanitized but patience is the key here for this style technique you all do we have any other questions popping up right now I want to hear from the stylist. Mm -hmm. on coloring them and could you color them? Yes, you are absolutely able to color. Um, and so this is 100% human hair extensions. This is not no synthetic. This ain't none of that. So yes, you are able to go ahead um, to lift, to dye, to color um, your extensions. Um, if you are not a colorist um, or don't have any experience in that, I would recommend maybe going to someone that you trust to do that for you. Um, but again, if this is your first time, and especially if you're getting the unit to play with, go ahead, dive into that coloring. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, like literally test it out and see how that works for you. But yes, you are absolutely. One thing that I love doing with the color, depending on the style, you're able to do different colors on the unit versus the hair. You can do match the hair in the unit. Um, you can do all kinds of crazy trending uh, color layouts and different things like that. So yes, the sky is the limit when it comes to color. I 
feel like we might be at a sanitize. For those just jumping in oh, yes, or Bernie. come tuning in with us, Give us a good recap. the unit that I have on kind of started like this, different texture, but it started out here. Mm -hmm. And she has now cut it me down to here. Oh, baby, wait till you see the oh. canvas on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so two different textures. Mine started out closer to this texture. Mm -hmm. But now we're here. <laughs> we didn't oh. talk about price. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should they check that on private to be, label? To, to be determined online. Because okay. it's actually going live tomorrow? No, it's, it's live now. Oh, it's, it's live. live now. It's live now. So should they check on the site, private uh, label? The product will be live. Yes. yes. The product will be live tomorrow. So they oh, the product, on. product. okay, let's get all, all this correct. Yeah. The products that we talked about behind me right here. And on your head. And on my head, true, will go live tomorrow. tomorrow. However, the units are live now. So no, it's live now while we're talking about it. Okay, but while we're talking about while it. While we're talking about it, but it will not be available for them to purchase until tomorrow. Ooh. Right. And hmm. so the price point, we'll have that for you tomorrow. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. So I, But I, it's very reasonable. Very. I believe very that. Reasonable. I certainly we'll, believe we'll that. Play it. Awesome. That is so true. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, they can oh. subscribe? Yep. Perfect. I say take a pause for the calls right now. Go ahead and subscribe at privatelabel.com. Private label extensions.com. I suggest going ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss this. This is the perfect time. Summer coming around. These people need some new looks. I suggest getting out there. Go ahead and grab one. Even for those stylists that just want to play around, this is a good time to go ahead and just grab the unit itself, play around with it, style it, cut it into four sections, play around with the texture. You want to do this now. Private label extensions .com. Hey, another question. Sure. Does it have stitching on the inside? Oh, Ooh, good question. Let's you show are. the inside. Okay, oh, this is the inside, and I'm going to let you jump in here, Erin. Yeah, so um, because they are fully laced and full medical grade, there is no wefts inside, um, which means the stitching on the inside is very limited. Um, and it's not your traditional thread. So with lace, we typically use um, a very thin thread um, and it's more transparent and clear so that's what you will see um, it's not felt and it is fully bendable um, and depending on the style that you're doing you can even sort of remove that it does not hurt the construction of the unit at all mm -hmm. and it comes in two different textures two different textures I mean two different three different textures uh, three different textures uh -huh. um, the afro kinky and the uh, help me out, Dallas. Oh, no, the no, 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 you're doing it. The Afro Kinky. The, the Afro one, Kinky. The, 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 um, the, the uh, Afro Extra Kinky is the one that's extra kinky. Okay. The first one, and then you have the Afro Curly. Okay. Right? Which is, the is this Afro Curly? Uh -huh. the, the softer one, which is the softer one, it may look like it's extremely kinky, but once you start adding water and a product to it, it begins to curl. See a more of a spiral. Right? You start to see more of that spiral. C sick. Yes. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I chose to be seasick. You did. <laughs> you, you, you wanted sick. 
sickening. Yes, sir, go for it. Well, deep D on dropship as well. Um, that is something that Mikey will actually construct. So uh, for guys who just saw him walk in here, Mikey um, does make sure that everything is put on the internet and on the web properly for us so that you can be able to find the category. So yes, stay tuned for that. Go uh, subscribe. Mikey will chime in and let you know that he is going to put that exactly um, on that, that wholesale as well as putting it on the, um, on the site today or tonight. Perfect. Private label extensions.com. Mm -hmm. Jump in. I'm telling you, go subscribe at least to get on the mailing list. That way you won't miss anything. Never. <laughs> you won't miss a thing. Never. All right. So we are jumping back in and I have the handy dandy hot comb. Now this is something that I personally like to do um, just to ensure comb. The flatness. <laughs> Did he get nervous? <laughs> a little bit, a little nervous. <laughs> Just to ensure that flatness. Till down for me. Uh -huh. So where your wave starts, you know you have the up and down of that curl pattern. So I like to flatten that as much as possible through the center portion. So I have it on high heat. Um, be sure if you've never used this to please test out on mannequins get your practice in before you do this with clients now the most skilled professional still is able um, to cause damage with this so you have to be very 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 cautious listen to your client um, and be very aware of what's going on so we're just going to go ahead i have the teeth of the hot comb and we're going again still following that direction where the waves are and i'm just flattening out do you feel any heat brandon i do feel the heat okay. but it's not unbearable it's okay. no discomfort or anything listen Perfect. to your honesty i love it <laughs> <laughs> so we're just making sure that that's flat because once we set you we want to make sure that that's laying how we want it to lay oh cool i like when the hair do what i tell it to do not mm -hmm. what it wanted to do you know we better manipulate this these okay this, this texture yes Mm -hmm. Were you doing that? Mm -hmm. You know your mics are on, so... <laughs> 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 I did forget I was mic just for a quick second. Yeah, I threw yeah, it yeah. over here. Listen, listen, it's my right here. Yesterday, she forgot she was uh, mic, and she was mumbling some ratchet things to me. And I was like, girl, we can hear you. We can hear it all. We can hear it all. <laughs> Tell her I miss her. I haven't seen her in a minute. Oh, How's she doing? She is beautiful. She's doing a docu series, which is interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's talk later. After this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You might want to link with her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So I'm taking the private label phone wrap and I'm just going to go ahead. And again, we love generous amounts of product over here, baby. Okay. We love generous amounts of product. And so I have my comb, I have the product, and I'm going to literally slide on and do a full covering saturation with the foam wrap. So I hope y'all got y'all pen and paper. What y'all coming to private labels to purchase? We're going to get the unit. <laughs> We're going to get the foam wrap. We're going to step in, get some hot tools. Then we're going to get the lace cleaner for the glue. And we get the acrylic glue. We got to get the acrylic glue. Matter of fact, can you hold this for the one time, brother? Absolutely. And if you are preferring a different option of glue, we do have the white glue as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving y'all y'all shopping. Matter of fact, let's let's make an errand special. Yeah. Everything yes. that you need, we just going to bundle it. <laughs> and you go buy the bundle. Don't even worry about the individual stuff. Just buy the bundle. Just buy the bundle. Mm -hmm. Just buy the bundle. I'm going to save you some time now. Just buy the bundle. That's right. all you need. So specifically, everything that you used today can mm -hmm. be purchased at Private Label Essentials. Exactly. Yes. And that's why they're that's the one-stop awesome. shop. We have the comments. Okay. Well, it says adhesive, no glue. Adhesive, no glue. Well, I'm not sure what that means. Give us some more information. What do you mean by adhesive, 
Are no you glue. able to install without applying glue? Is that what that meant? I need some more content. Yeah, I do. I, I need a little bit more also because I'm like, wait, are you telling us to use adhesive and, or no glue or? Yeah. So I will say this. I don't know how you feel about it and I might be a little bit wrong. Tap in. Um, I have had the units sewn down before. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So With only, a style with length. With a style with length, yes. But uh, that's specific. And you had your leave out. Had my leave out. Uh -huh. Because you remember when I had the leave out. Uh -huh. um, I've had the sides of it sewn down and only the bonding agent or glue in the front, the front hairline. So if that's what you meant by yes, uh, it is able to be sewn down if that's what you meant. This person is a hairstylist. Okay, hairstylist. This person is... Um, uh, chiming in on us to let us know, honey, don't call it glue. We don't want to call it uh, adhesive um, as, as the hair terminology. Yes. Oh, got you. Yes. Okay, yes. that's what you meant. I'm like, okay, okay. Not glue, like, adhesive. Yes, that's all. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, stylists, that when you're talking to um, clients, you want to make sure that you use terms that they can also relate utilize, to. relate to. So that's why Aaron is saying glue versus adhesive or um, bonding agent, which is what I just said. So but that's the only have, reason. Listen, I will say throughout the day, y'all have used all the terms. Yeah. So I do appreciate that as well. Yeah, yeah. but I can appreciate that. Yeah. You better catch that. You better catch it, baby. <laughs> I don't know who that was. And, baby, thank you so much. And I better not hear you say wash hair. Oh! <laughs> baby, we wash clothes and cough. Oh, right. And <laughs> baby, we shampoo, we shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> bundles and extension. Okay. Okay. Shampoo. We shampoo. Yes. Shampoo. Yes. Right. So you I get it. Wash my hair. Yeah. Good work. All right. So I definitely get it. I love it. So now that the foam wrap is in with this style in particular, and I'm about to contradict myself. I know I am. It's all right. <laughs> with this style only, will you go in after the hair has been laid in your to your liking? With this style only, will you then go in with the do-rag and then use the sealer? You better know when you about to come in handy. I thought you that's so good, Brandon. Sorry, let me get his back. Get his back. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, I love it. I knew it. <laughs> well, could you use wrap strips also when you're doing this? You could. Okay, good. You could. Good. What the reason why I like to use a do-rag on this portion is just because it gives that extra hole that sometimes wrap strips depend uh oh right here no, okay that sometimes wrap strips um they can give, give but right. they tear just a little bit right right and and then again you already said you're not you wanting them to, to go to sleep with this correct this is, you're just doing this for just for a the moment styling. just for the styling of the set mm -hmm. absolutely and we're tightening very tight. I let them know that it's going to get a little tight. Brandon is used to this. Uh-huh. It, it is tight. Do <laughs> <laughs> so you feel secure? I feel very secure. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, like a good girdle. The, the elastic, the, the, uh, the band, okay. when you're using a band, Pull them out. you're putting wigs, lace fronts on. Yeah. And you're putting that band on to melt it in, to melt everything to together. Absolutely. Yeah. Same concept. Got it. Pull your ears out for me. Okay. And this is something that I like. I like for them to do just because they can sort of feel better where it's trapped underneath the do-rag so you're not doing any extensive pulling on their ears. So mm -hmm. I just let them go ahead and pull those out. And I appreciate that. Yes. And once the ears are out, I'm going to turn you, Brandon. Okay. So this is what we look like currently. It's giving real Malibu's most wanted. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's giving. Okay. <laughs> Clearly it's down past his eyebrows, forehead, all of that. There's some space here. And so what we're going to do, although it's tight, we want to tighten within. So hold right here on top. Okay. Right? And I'm going to pull away and down. And you can see that literally tightening those areas that were missed. And so now... That is perfectly tight. You can feel across here. And now we can move this so they actually can regain the rhythm of their forehead. <laughs> All right. 
and I'm twisting. Oh, I guess I can let you see this portion too. And this is simple. This is not something you have to do, but again, this twisting is help tightening that as well to down for me, Brandon. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna go in and knot this just to get the extra material out the way. Nothing that has to be done, but definitely something that just causes some extra comfort for them. And then we're gonna put him under the dryer. So stay tuned because he was gonna be under the dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes until dry. And then we're gonna come back just so you could see how that looks, okay? While we are drying, are there any questions that you all have? I'm gonna go get the dryer for you. Um, and then we'll be able to go ahead and do that. So I want you all to think of questions, think mm -hmm. of concepts, Think of anything that you have, um, anything that you are curious about. This is the time to ask because I don't come on live too often and give these nuggets. <laughs> Brandon knows, Dallas knows. So this is something that I really want you to tap in if you have any, um, if you have any questions concerning the construction, anything like that, please let us know. Yes, All right? absolutely. Please let us know. So, um, while you're doing that, as you go grab that, Brandon can actually stay here and you can go grab that with Nick and yes. then come back. So yes. Brandon, whatever questions, you can answer those questions. I'm ready to jump in. Because we won't turn off live. Okay. Got it? I'm yes. Ready. So Nick will take you down and go grab that real quick. Absolutely. And then help you dry a little bit more as well. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I would love to know which textures that you guys are going to try first. <laughs> Um, How do you think it's going? I guess it depends on where your clientele is, like okay. what type of looks, styles. Because I mentioned yeah. this earlier, but I've tried more, right? every type of one style more. that uh, is. I've had units that I've had braided. Uh, I the have, outside. I've had them in yeah. two strand twist. I've had them on in the street single to the right. twist. As you see, I'm getting the low cut. <laughs> I've had the ball fade. Um, I've tried every style, and these units can adhere to any of those. Um, it's just a matter of how your client uh, <laughs> wants to look. So you have chosen, uh, again, you have the ways for today, but mm -hmm. when you're saying that you can wear them for five years, right. one of the things, the comments you made earlier, Brandon, mm -hmm. is that you said, during the pandemic, maybe yeah. you couldn't find them anyway. No. So tell no. me what was happening at that time. What were you doing um, as opposed to not being able to find them? Honestly, we had to stretch out the product, I mean, stretch out the process with the unit. So I took really good care of my units. That's number one, until I could figure out a time where I was going to get a new unit. When I was not wearing the unit, we did the custom, um, I know Aaron uh, talked about it earlier, but we did the custom units, which means she actually took hair off of a track and adhered it to my scalp um, to make it custom. And it looked like one of the low units that I'm making now, but it was all just single hair fibers that she had to go. It was a little bit more extensive, but it, it did the job for that time being. But this private label coming up with this is so smart. It makes it so easy for us as stylists to get our hands on units for our client because we do want them to think it came directly from us. <laughs> Is that not true, Dallas? That's true. That's true. And if we have the plug, which is where uh, private label extensions is happening for us, because they are our plug. <laughs> yeah, we are the plug. We are the plug. Now, a person came on with a, uh, with a question. Okay, cool. Um, and you can answer that question. I, I, you already answered it earlier, but I want you to go into more detail with it again. Awesome. How long does it last, which is this particular one? Can you share the details of that, please? This particular one will last me a month. I will have this on a month, on for a month. But that is with regular routines to my stylist. So I'll be coming back to Aaron. I'll probably do weekly because I do a lot of a lot of stuff. Like I'm a, a trainer for those that didn't know, uh, and I body build. 
So I'm always in the gym. So weekly works best for me. But if I did not train as hard as I did, probably bi-weekly is where I would come to get regular haircuts. Aaron knows how to go in and clean it, um, get away any uh, debris, any waste that needs to be removed from my unit. She has me covered. So this will last for about a month for me. Yeah. So, is your liquid not shampooed, or does she shampoo it for you? No, I would not shampoo. But the sides is cleaned. Got it. Like, yeah. She cleanses it for yes. you. She cleanses it for me. Got it. Yep. Which is why you, it is imperative that you do see your stylist on a regular basis. One hundred percent is imperative. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this lifestyle does not come with, you know you just going once a month to get your hair done. You definitely have to keep in contact with your stylist. At least every two weeks, you want to jump in and get some type of clean cleansing agent on the sides of your scalp, um, a haircut, because that's what's going to keep it looking fresh and new for you. But about a month, it, this it. unit will last me for about a month. So this question is for Aaron, even though Aaron okay. just walked back into the room. What is your pricing that you would charge someone for this particular unit? For this exact style, mm -hmm. I would go in. Um, it's a pre-made unit. This style would be around 300 to 360, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just depending on what prep work needed to be done before. So if that was a relaxer, touch-up color, um, different things like that that we add to the service ticketed costs. Um, so one thing that I do, I actually put all of my services a la carte. Um, so that way you're able to see what I'm building into your ticket price, um, but also you're able to decide, maybe I'll wait on the trim, but I'll throw in this wax. Or maybe I'll save the eyebrow wax, but I'll go ahead and do a root touch up. You know, those different things. So for this style, I would charge between three to 360. Gotcha. If you want to Yes. Um, other people are, are, are really, really, and thank you so much because you're totally engaged. You can just drop those anywhere you want to over there. Okay. Okay. Um, people are totally engaged about your questions, that, I mean, about the information you're, you're, you're giving. Mm -hmm. um, one of the questions said, okay, I guess I need to come to Atlanta. <laughs> 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 That's one of the questions, I guess you need to come to Atlanta. So yes, come to Atlanta. Yes. And, uh, see Erin, she's going to be able to give you a one-on-one -on -one class. Uh, but what I'm excited about is that you are sharing as a wearer. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your experience because this is why we both brought you guys in here. This is why we brought both of you guys in here is because we wanted to get the experience from the individual who puts them on, mm -hmm. who's the installer, and the individual who's receiving. Absolutely. And so, so getting that feedback. Uh, that's it. That person said they're in Florida. Come on up, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Bring some of that sunshine up here. Absolutely. Of course, private label ships everywhere. Hey, we ship everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Again, so if you need the unit. Let y'all come here every Hey, if you need the unit, we got you. We ship everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. So with you taking care of this on a daily uh, a basis, Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that you do uh, taking care of this day? What are some of the things that you do? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I live by the tips that Erin has taught me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't really do much to my hair. She can tell you. I, I, once I have it on mm -hmm. and I'm in place, I'm, I'm pretty good, to be honest. I use the satin pillowcase. That's, what, that's my sleeping agent. And when I wake up, if I have a low cut, I'm really easy breezy. Um, if it's longer, if anything, it's a matter of like styling it where I want it to style. Cause I don't want that person that wears the hair to be afraid to touch it. So specifically, I'm I'm always playing with my hair, always. I don't tug on the lace, but my hair itself, I move it around. I style it the way I want it. Once it's done, I'm good. I don't do much to it. Got it. Um, Aaron, if you want, uh -huh. you can go ahead and um, have Brandon put up under there and okay. whatever statements you want to add in there. So, because again, we don't, 
stop the line. We just keep going. Keep it Absolutely. going. Absolutely. And, and that's an excellent thing. They're able to see the full product. Absolutely. I mean, process. We want to see the full process from beginning to end um, and, and just to really understand. And then we want people to be able to revisit it. And I do apologize, you all. I forgot that I was mic'd, so you might have heard some extra talking while I was gone. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear any. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just realized that just now. <laughs> I, I, I Wait, forgot about that. We just looked at each other like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we was having a good conversation. Oh, my so God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all try, y'all try me, and did y'all hear anything? Did y'all hear anything? Did y'all hear anything inappropriate? Yeah, cousins, our cousins out there. Okay, try me and let us know. Yeah, that is so funny. So as you all can see, I just have a traditional hooded dryer. Um, the heat is on high. We want to be mindful of the glue, um, but he is under here, um, and the do rag does have a barrier somewhat. There you go. There you go. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and allow that to dry just for some. Girl, they slide up in your yeah, in here. They said, "Can I get Aaron's contact info?" Oh, let me go ahead and get that to y'all real quick. Let me, let me do a little something with that. All right. So, <laughs> yes, my personal business phone number is four zero four three three seven three nine two two. Now you can text. Call, but just make sure if you call to leave a voicemail. I do not talk on the phone while I'm with clients. Um, so if I'm away from my phone, I do want to get back with you. And again, my social media is going to be the Aaron Taylor. That's T H E E E R I N T A Y L O R. The Aaron Taylor on all platforms. Yes, yes. Now, also, while he's under the dryer, I do still have my hot phone plugged in, just in case we need to do a little something, something with that, okay? Now, here's your time to engage with the audience and tell them anything you want to tell them. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. What are some things I want to share with y'all? Some little nuggets, some little jewels. <laughs> um, let's see. So, a few mistakes that I've learned over the years. Um... Although I love product usage, um, with units, less is a little more. Um, so in today's application, we're still going to use a little fiber. We're still going to use a little spray. But the hair does everything that we need to do. Um, and you don't have to build on top of that because the hair is literally going to be that for us. All right. Now, as Dallas mentioned, I am located in Atlanta. However, I do travel upon client requests. Um, there is a pocketbook attached to that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love my coin. Um, but you are able, I am taking appointments, and you are able to book. I would love to bring you into our wonderful community of clients. Um, and so that way I can unlock that inner creative in you, you know, and give you that confidence and reassure that. I am actually leaving you guys. Okay. So I'm leaving you with the wonderful producer, Dowie. Yeah. And I'm marketing manager, Nick. Yeah. Hey. So whatever questions and everything you have for them, and I'll be downstairs and I'll check with you guys okay. uh, when, you're, when you're done. Okay. Thank you, Dallas. But I'm staying live watching you. Okay? Yay. Okay. So I might ask some questions. Okay. On that side. Okay. <laughs> right. Got it. Bye, guys. Bye. And again, while he is under the dryer, this is time that I'm typically working with another client um, or going ahead and sanitizing my tool. So we already did his cut, different things like that. So I'm just using my time wisely. Now, because I've done so much already and I'm here with you all, I want to make sure that we're using this time so that way we can uh, answer any questions one time for me. Huh? Can I see that towel? Yeah, absolutely. You know where it is? Mm -mm. One second. Did I get it there? No. Let's see here. Or a napkin. Yeah. I got something in my eye. Oh, no, Lord. Perfect. You want me to get it? You got it? Oh, no, good. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. You're scaring. <laughs> oh, no. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I, I got something in my eye. Okay. I just good. Want to make sure you all right. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Okay. 
And what I just did there with Brandon, I do with all clients. If there's something that, you know, has that needs to have my attention, I'm going to commit to that. Turn this dryer off, pull it back, whatever we need to do to make sure the client's comfortable. That is the top priority. Yeah. The comfort of your client. All right, so while we're waiting, I'm going to use this time to just go through the product line with private label extensions one more time right. of what they have to offer you. Now, again, I'm going to get with Dallas, the producers, um, and the marketing staff here. We're going to make a little errand bundle for you. Everything <laughs> you need to achieve, to, to achieve today's style. But I do want to take this time just to go through the products and show you all what they have. Um, Perfect. All right, so Brandon is holding the shampoo and the conditioner there. Um, and this is the hydrating shampoo and conditioner. So you are able to go ahead and purchase that from the site. Now this is the Velvet Argan Oil. This is perfect while you're styling. So go ahead and then give that uh, oil um, and that nutrients to the scalp, to the hair. This is what that's perfect for, as well as the private label New Light. And this is perfect for your braids, for your parting, for your sew-ins. You want to make sure you're getting in between those hard-to-reach places with the convenient nozzle there. And I'm going to take some of these from you. Thank you. I don't want to forget the private label extension flat irons. They're curling irons and blow dryers, okay? So they have the tools, they have the products, and they have the hair. This is really what we call a one-stop shop, you all. all Everything right. you need to achieve not only today's style, but any style with extensions, bundles, lace, you are able to achieve and get that today. Thank you. All right, so then they have their also what's called the wig knot healer. Pick up right now. Maybe two. All right, this is perfect to cover those knots underneath the lace to help give you a more seamless finish. And you do see there are different shades. And this is what it looks like, and you're able to just go ahead and apply that directly to your lace. No, medium brown. A medium brown as well. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So different, definitely all of the shades that you need, um, all of the shades that you need. And I'm going to just take a pause for the calls. See how we feel. Still a little damp, so I'm just going to go under just for a few more minutes. Yes. So we still will be doing the lineup afterwards. Um, and then our fibers, any type of different sprays to get that full natural finish. But that's afterwards, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, yep, sorry. today we have used not only the lace glue, it does have the original white and acrylic, but then we're also using the foam wrap, private label extensions foam wrap, okay? Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. This on down. Oh, sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, we have a comment. Okay. She says, I have a private label dropship site that I'm working on launching, and I will be starting a cosmetology course here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the fall. Okay. I want, I want it to be a one 
one-stop shop. Thank you for all the products and install on the site. Yes, absolutely. And if you need any additional training, any additional knowledge, you know, definitely connect with us. We want to hear from you. We want to help you with those endeavors. We want to network. We want to go ahead um, and help with that. So now I'm just smoothing out where we are. All right. And for our stylists that are out there, this is pretty much equivalent to a mold. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Now this is where I'm going to take my wall seam here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and freehand and get some more of the flyaways away. Actually, one second there. A little nugget for you all. Whenever you're cutting hair, especially extensions, I like to spray holding spray. My favorite has got to be glue. Um, but I like to spray that just to give grit to the hair so that way the clippers can go in and cut it down without having to worry about the fineness. Now, that's an amazing thing to say about private label extensions because of the quality of that hair. But for clippers, sometimes when you're cutting, you need a little bit more thickness. So I'm just going to add to that and give a nice layer of holding spray. Quick question. Uh-huh. Is that glue super hold? I've, I've had a man of these before, but I do need super hold. Um, so there are different glue types. Depending on what you need, you can do different layering techniques for the glue. Um, this glue does hold extremely well. Today we did one coat. Depending on the client, their lifestyle, and what they need, I do one to three coats. Oh, I was going to ask you that, because yes. typically you do a two coats on me. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay got So it. depending on their lifestyle, what we're doing that day, or what the style, um, where the client may be going, how long they play, oh, plan you to do that wear. because I work out. Yep. Got you. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hey, you have a question? Okay. Did you learn barber technique during your cosmetology course, or is it a separate barber course? That's a good question. That's an excellent yeah. question. Oh, they're getting to the T. Uh, can okay. I say something before yes. you say it? So... I went through this whole process. Aaron is actually one of the originators for Man Weave. It's published, too. Oh. Very much so. Yeah, look Just at that. Just want to say that out there. But prior to her uh, going oh, I know what you're about to, to get extra knowledge on barbering, mm -hmm. she only had hairstyle experience. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead. Uh, keep on. <laughs> Give me a little bit more. <laughs> She actually decided to go get extra knowledge on barbering in order to be better at this. Absolutely. So that was an excellent question, and I'm so I bet it was a stylist that asked that too, because we don't get as much attention on the barbering side when we go to cosmetology school. Mm -hmm. So continued education. Continued education is why she has now perfected this craft. Absolutely. So what I was doing at first, um, and Brandon is absolutely right, hair school and cosmetology school touched on barbering, touched on clipper cutting, clipper mm -hmm. um, shears over comb and different things like that for cutting. Mm -hmm. um, but to take my service level to where I needed it and where I see it growing, I definitely had to get that continued education. So I made the decision after going to hair school to do continuing education, which is crossover learning, yeah. and actually go get my certification for barbering as well. So not only did I go to cosmetology school, I then went to barbering school also. Mm -hmm. um, so, and that's to say, there are many ways around that. Um, if you are not looking to barber, if you can't barber, or you don't simply desire to barber, prior to barbering, what I would do was send my clients to a barber mm -hmm. that I was working with, mm -hmm. Um, and they would do the base cutting and different things like that, and I would build from there. 
However, again, I told y'all a few times, I like my pocketbook. <laughs> so I'm not going to give my money away. Right. I'm just going to reinvest it in myself. And that's what I decided to do. So that was an amazing question. But if you don't want to do it, I, if you're it's in a salon. It's nothing wrong. Right. Oh, especially team, if you're in a salon a with a barber. Team with a barber. And that's exactly what you did. It yeah. Was, you teamed with a barber. It was this one specific barber that we went to. Mm -hmm. um, and then came back to Aaron for the finishing process. Yeah. So, yeah. This is a great time for you to team with a barber. Absolutely. And I'm just going in freehand again. I'm so sorry, because I see it about to happen before I even start it. Let me oh. get you a look. <laughs> and I didn't think anything of it. I saw it as it was about to start rolling. <laughs> I said, no. Nope. There we go. Ooh, it's the attention to detail for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel special. Yes. And that's how you should feel. Right. You want your clients to feel like, I have to go to this stylist because they truly care. They're truly educated. They're truly knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what you want. That's what makes you feel good, you know? Right. Now, for those who don't feel as confident in freehanding with clippers, you are able to take a razor and go in and do the same concept. Oh, I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So at this stage in the process, um, is, are there any do's or don'ts there? Specifically to this moment right yeah, here? to this specific moment. Um... Be very cautious. Mm -hmm. You don't want to overcut. Gotcha. So just pay attention. Again, as you can see, I haven't really been in a rush to do anything today. Right? Um, and there's a reason for that because we want to make sure I'm taking my time. I'm sh paying attention to all detail, different things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, Brandon specifically wears his hair a little lower. So I am going ahead and cutting that down some but that can be altered so depending on where your client likes to wear their waves i have some clients who don't like to be molded down because they like the wildness of the waves and they mm -hmm. like to see that wild pattern there um or i shouldn't say wild pattern more of that free forming wave pattern that's right. better right I don't know wild is a good adjective though. You know, I, I feel like I like you know, wild. I, I have a little wild moment. A little wild side. Oh. You got a comment? Okay. It says, okay, Aaron, I see you. Yeah, I'm sold. I'll be contacting you in a few weeks. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Another shameless plug. Prove it. What's the name? What's the name? Prove the Aaron Taylor. That's T H E E E R I N T A Y L O R. Business phone is 404 337 Right. Yes. <laughs> I definitely suggest that whoever made that comment, please contact her. Oh. That's going to change the game. And we're just blending this in. And you can sort of, again, as I mentioned before, Take some time, step back, see where you see the areas that need some extra cutting, some extra blending, and then get back in there. It says, I got it in the home Yes, welcome to the family. I look right. forward to spending time with you all, networking, meeting you all. And make sure you order your unit. And book your one-on-one -on -one class. Right, and book your class, that too. PrivateLabelExtension.com. Yes. Get, get, get the unit. Are there any stylists out there that has tried to do the unit and have questions about something that did not go right? Mm-hmm. And you all, could be approved, improved on. 
And for you all, um, I'm going to let Brandon take over for talking for just a moment because I am in my zone. Mm, and on. sometimes I tap out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So during this process, I do want to pay very close attention to what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let Brandon focus on the questions and talking for me for just a second. And I just want to say, as a client... Allow your stylist to tap into that moment yes. where they just shut up. Yeah. Because <laughs> that just means it's, it's getting good. It's getting serious it's when getting that happens. Serious. Yes. <laughs> you got another comment. Okay. It says melting with the clippers. Mm hmm. I'm so shocked by Yes. Yes. And y'all saw the entire process. I've literally been sitting here through this entire process, loving it. I'm not uncomfortable. Um, as a client, I really don't feel the unit itself. It just feels like she's now giving me a haircut. And having worn this for five years, of course, I am kind of used to it. But as a client in this moment, or a new client, um, to sit here and feel like this is secure, I feel good, it's a major thing. So this is how you want your client to feel while they're sitting there. Got a comment from Dallas. Okay. The zone is giving. Yes. The zone is giving. <laughs> yes. When I tell you Dallas is such a businessman, I he love better it. be tuning in while he went to take care of something else. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Now, we would be remiss, Brandon, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if we sat here. Uh -huh. and didn't talk about our upcoming project. Okay. And what we had <laughs> going on for the people right. in the TV land <laughs> Since, across the earth. If they lo loving our, our If they loving it, you know. If they loving us together. Should we tell them right now or when you complete? Let's give them something to lo look okay, forward something to. Something to think about. Yeah, hey, some, yeah we got, got an announcement. We got a little announcement for An you exclusive all. announcement. <laughs> that we have not talked about. Ooh, baby, we ain't talked about it. In fact, we just looked at each other and said, <laughs> are we going to say this now? <laughs> okay. All caps. I knew you guys were a dynamic duo. LOL. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Yes, we are. Absolutely. Best friends forever in three days. It's literally. From hey. what date? Ooh. What year? I don't remember. That's not good. 2016 was the year. It was a summer month. Oh, we were at a pool party so glad that she in the Atlanta area. <laughs> <laughs> a summer party would do it for you. Ooh, huh? won't it bring you on out? Who knew you would meet a best friend? Listen, <laughs> at the pool party. At the pool party. Oh, yeah. oh no, we could do that. Yeah, I could turn you. Is that better? Okay, cool. So yeah, we've been doing this for a very long time, and of course it has its ups and downs uh -huh, uh -huh. because we because we are human and creatives and creatives and just alike mm -hmm, that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but we definitely were able to network and build some great bonds. So that is so true. I'm excited to share with you all what we have been working on. Mm -hmm. Um, and soon to release, so I'm excited. So very true. And we're coming up on the end of my um, glam process here. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everybody that's on right now should just go share, say, this is coming towards the end. Y'all want to see the ending part? Yes. Come come on. Jump in now. Tag your mama, your grandma, your auntie now. Right. Everybody should be on a break right now or having lunch. So go on and let them jump in. Don't try to keep it to yourself. Right. <laughs> now I just sat here and gave y'all the tools oh, and the knowledge. Tips. Go on and share it. Go on and share it with, a little, with somebody that you feel would benefit from this. Yes. I, I, I'm sure they would thank you later. Not only share it, but book an appointment for a friend who you know is suffering oh, from thinning, balding, receding. Take a 
Invest in a class for maybe your boyfriend who's a barber, your husband, some, mm -hmm. a cousin, relative who might need some additional training. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and invest in them. You hear those concerns that your husbands or boyfriends are, are telling you on the side Yes. about them wishing they could regrow hair or and or mm -hmm. um, could get a different look. Uh huh. This is the perfect time. Go ahead and tell them you know somebody that knows somebody that knows something about it. Ooh. <laughs> I thought you was going somewhere else with I that. I decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said that know somebody that know somebody. I know that's right. <laughs> or, but what about those special occasion moments? Oh, that's true. Your prom, your wedding. Mm -hmm. Your high school reunion. You know, all of those things where oh. you want to look your best. You want to present polished, um, your polished best to the world, right? That is so true. So, I, I know you don't talk about this much, mm -hmm. but one of the most touching moments that I experienced on your social media page mm -hmm. was the little girl that you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little girl that was suffering with alopecia, mm -hmm. correct? Uh-huh. Okay. She came in, Erin totally created, oh, it's really touching me just thinking about it because this little girl who's out with all these other kids wanted hair mm -hmm. and you were able to make that happen for her. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, these change lives, I just want to say that. Definitely change lives. How many years have you been wearing? For about five years now. Mm -hmm. And I started out with a longer unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been, been about five years. Is there a preference on type of hair? When it comes to community units? On type of hair? You know, um, you know, units are like Brazilian, Vietnamese, mm -hmm. etc. and the third. I feel like you should go with the texture closest to your texture. Absolutely. Right? But depending on the style too, mm -hmm. um, you might change the, oh, I'm sorry, you might change the texture just to make sure that um, you're achieving the look. So mm. it depends. Are you looking for something realistic to blend? Right. Or are you looking to make a moment for the style? Mm -hmm. And that will depend on that. So I definitely recommend, again, that goes to the consultation process with your stylist. Uh, but I definitely recommend going ahead and talking to them and showing them, hey, this is what I want to achieve and having that in-depth conversation. Mm -hmm. So And private label definitely have those different textures. Absolutely. I told you I can be in Africa, Africa today, baby, <laughs> and be Dominican tomorrow. Ooh, I'm gonna wear Puerto Rican, Vanessa. Puerto Rican, yeah, Puerto Rican, yeah, Rica. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then take a look at me, and now we are going to go ahead and carve out that hairline. Ooh, this is the moment. I hope y'all tag them friends. Yes. And I so appreciate Private Label for having us here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for bringing us in. Yes. Thank you for seeing and believing in our craft that and part. what we do. Mm -hmm. And for giving me this new look. Ooh, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. <laughs> yeah, show up, won't it? Won't Ooh, he do it? Yes. <laughs> you know, I get excited, so I got to get out of that. Right. Out. Maybe we'll have, we'll have to... Oh, y'all see that Christmas or that line now. Don't play with it. Y'all do see that line. Uh-huh. Yes. Just a little something, a little sprinkle dust. A little sprinkle dust. A magical sprinkle dust. That's all it is. Turn this. 
But yes, as Brandon did mention, um, I was one of, and I say one of because again, this thought of men in units has been around for a very long time. However, I was one of the pioneers that developed an everyday wear for the modern gentleman. Um, and that article is actually still out. Shout out to Essence Magazine who featured me um, in their online uh, magazine there describing, detailing, and interviewing me uh, back in 2015, mm. receipt, uh, <laughs> receipt um, about this process. And so even the growth mm -hmm. from where I started to now. Right. I'm telling you, I've seen this process. It's, yeah. it's, it's something. Yes. All right. Can you have a comment? Okay. This is so seamless. Will this work? It looks really great on Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But you ain't seen and nothing side yet. side note, this is, I could walk out like this. Like Literally this. could. However. We not done. Uh -huh. <laughs> she not done. Yeah, <laughs> she not done yet. Uh-uh. She's not done. But literally could get up and walk away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just do a quick 360 really quick. Yeah. One more time on this side here. Perfect, and I'm going to spin you one more time. Now, I'm going to do what I love to do. Now, I can't tell y'all all my goodies because you got to come to the class, but I'm going to share a lot of them. Please schedule a class. Ooh. I'm telling you, I've, I've witnessed the one-on-one -on -one classes. You've been I, a model I, for a few of them. Yeah, for a few of them. A few of them, yeah. 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 So I've, I've had a chance to take this class many times, and every time I get something new. I, t I kid you not. I don't do the units myself on clients. Oh, however. now. What? So let me say this. Before, let me pause for the calls. What? Brandon is a hairstylist, too. True. And he is able to do these styles. Yeah. However. However, come I try to stay in my lane. He just don't want to. This ain't, this ain't my thing. I love it on me. I'm aware, but I know I know what I do, and I know what I do well. Okay. And I know who does things well, as well. <laughs> so I go to Aaron for it. So oh, thanks. That's just it. So now I'm going to get a little of our holding spray here. Mm -hmm. Let me turn you this way. And I'm just using this as a protective barrier to not get any product where I don't want. And so what we're going to do to help with this blending and just do some camouflaging, I'm gonna spray, 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 spray. And then I have my topics here. And again, I'm placing this just to prevent any product going from where we don't want it. And I'm just building that and blending that even more seamless through here. Very light, not excessive at all. I just want to blend that together, a seamless blend. And we're going to do the same for the back. So we're going to tilt down for me. Spray, 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 spray. I'm ready to see the finished look. Oh, yes. A few more minutes and we will be there. For the stylist out there, notice that she is doing the back of the unit as well. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen several stylists that only pay attention to the front of the unit. That's so shady. I mean, I'm just saying. That's I just so I want to make sure I leave, leave you all with that tip. Yeah. Brandon, can you give us up your Instagram? Absolutely. B combs hair. B C O M B S H A I R. B combs hair. And for those that's looking for training, you can contact me at Brandon Combs. That's B R A N D A N D A N C O M B S. And that's on IG as well. Brandon Combs. All right. 
So this is just with our fibers, our unit, our cut, and our molding where we are currently. But I'm still not done. <laughs> <laughs> the shade. Didn't he shade them? He didn't throw them clients, them stylists under the bus. He said, he said, y'all, y'all doing it in the front. Y'all ain't doing nothing in the back. Yeah. You got to be seamless. And again, with the holding spray, just to lock in everything that we have just put on. And we're going to allow that to dry. Now, this dries fairly quickly, yeah. 30 seconds, and you'll be all dry. And as a wearer, wearer, mm -hmm. am I saying that? I know what you meant. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> as a client, yeah. I feel nothing. Honestly, I just feel like I look fresh. Ooh, <laughs> on my mama, oh, on my, my hood. <laughs> I look, I look good. Yeah. But yeah, I feel nothing. There's no pain, no discomfort. I feel good. I feel like I can go maybe have, have a little date night or something. You know. A little entanglement? Uh, I'm up for the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I am up for the problem, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> No, this unit feels awesome, though. It's yes. breathable. That's a good thing. It feels great. Another okay. question. Okay. It says, I came in the middle. Do you have a before picture? You can just come down. Later, we will get you a before and after of that. We can post some things. We got some things to post. We got yes. some things to post. Yes. So you have to come back. Come back to, to the page. See it. Yes, so you can see those things. But if you subscribe, you'll see the notification once oh, they upload it, right? Y'all follow Karen, y'all follow Mr. Combs, y'all follow yes. Private Label, all on Instagram. All, all on it. Instagram. Yes. We got you covered. We got you now. Just know there is no hair under here. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get that as a before, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Yes. Balls up under here. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now that that is dry, I'm going again and freehanding just those little flyaways. Not really focusing on taking anything away, just anything that might not blend perfectly. We just want to get those little pieces. Yeah, two more comments. Okay. One says, oh, trust me, I got, you got me sold? <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. One tip that I will give, I'm surprised you didn't mention it. Now, I'm going to cut the clippers off for this. Mm -hmm. Today, we're in an amazing studio with private label extensions. There's lighting, there's cameras, there's angles, there's all of that. So we are not concerned about the light, right? However, in your salon, in your salon home, in your barbershop, um, if you're a salon suite stylist, wherever you work, you want to make sure that you can see. Um, what I like to use. That would help. Seeing helps. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. That helps. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. So I like to use my personal headlight mm -hmm. um, so that way I can see directly what I need to see. Again, taking a step away, seeing your work from all angles so that way you can see where you need to blend, what you need to focus on, different things like that. Now back to the programming. And this Brandon. is how the unit started, just to give you guys a heads up or for those that are jumping in, the unit started like this. And Aaron went in and created this. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you can purchase the unit on privatelabelextensions.com. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Carlos just had an amazing idea. What was that? Mm -mm, I can't talk about it right now. We'll oh, talk about it. Oh, goodness. But it does include production. <laughs> 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 so y'all be ready for a little impromptu meeting after the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Is it related to us? Uh-huh. You know where I'm going. Uh-huh. It is truly amazing that we can take this and create this like that. In one sitting. One sitting. That's awesome. And I'm just going to take those shears, anything that the clippers weren't able to catch. And that's privatelabelextensions.com. Yes. I'm going to tell y'all, go ahead and get the units. Why you can, because they about right. to sell out. Right. And I'm not saving no seats. This ain't church. Mm -mm. We ain't saving none. Go on. If you, you got to go now. They might tax me or something. Y'all just got your refund checks. They might tax Y'all going to just spend a little bit on your house. Yeah. 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 So y'all just tuck some away uh -huh. and go and buy your hair with it. Right. So that way it can last you throughout the rest of the season. Very much so. And then so. you can re-up. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I see mm -hmm. where you're going with it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I will say, let's see. There was one unit that I had for a year and a half, right? Yes. You didn't wear it a year I and a half. Let's specify it. for the same. Yes, let's specify. <laughs> <laughs> I wore it monthly. For a year and a half. For a year and a half. So that means that one time investment mm -hmm. of what you paid for your purchase was able to use and reuse and reuse. And reuse. So by the time that unit got to the point to where it was thrown away, mm -hmm. you bought this unit oh. time and time again. Say that. Yes. And I don't know how, you know, your clients like their hair, mm -hmm. but if they start off long, by the end of the year, they can go. They can short. go short. They can go short. Very versatile. So it's so many different styles that you can get within this unit. Um, just do it. Go ahead That's and, what and Nike purchase. Said. That, that is what Nike said. Huh? We want our but checks in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's so relevant for so many things. It though. is. <laughs> Shout out. Shout, Shout out, out to them. Right. Just do it. Do I feel it. like whoever made that, we're going to go off on a side tangent just right. for about a few seconds. Right. Whoever made that was probably fed up. Uh -huh, was, just, just do, do it. it. Jeez. Jesus. Just do it. Can't say it how I want to say it. God, just do it. <laughs> you know, just do it. Just do so it. So what, what are you just doing today? You're going to www.privatelabelextensions.com. Mm -hmm. You're not only going to get the unit but all of the products needed for this style right. then you're going to subscribe to their newsletter, newsletter. to their personal page mm -hmm. and then the pages of brandon and myself so right. you have a little bit of homework yeah okay mm -hmm. so, so easy homework. you got your phone in your hand anyway it's in your hand <laughs> except for the person who was on the freeway driving yes. well, did, they make it to where they were going? did you Please. make it did you tap you made it in the comments uh -huh. check in with us did <laughs> you make it to your destination yeah <laughs> let me see put that on for me mm -hmm. And now I'm going directly in giving that hard lining for the front. Okay, since we're on this line, mm -hmm. are there any suggestions? as to how to do it or we just how to do your lining mm -hmm. um so typically considering the fact you have on a unit you know yeah um so we do want to lay the hair down mm -hmm. training the hair is very important that's a mold that's whatever you know right. however you like um so that is very important to do um but then i also myself personal preference here mm -hmm. i prefer not to use too many enhancements on the actual hairline of the hair yet let the hair speak for itself and build around that. Mm. That's personally what I like. Mm. Now, 
do what your heart feels, you know? Um, you are able to do, it's very versatile, very custom. Again, everything should be done differently for every client. You have to know your client mm -hmm. and what they're looking for, what they want, what is their style on a day-to-day -day basis. That's what's important. For those that are just jumping in, prior to starting, what, an hour and a half, two hours what ago? Time? We've been here a while. Time We've been flies. here a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this process, of course, takes a little extra time, but it's very much worth it. Yes. Um, but I started out ball. Just, just letting you know, uh -huh. I started out with absolutely no hair on the top of my head. And if I need to say that one more time for the for ones in the back, back, I started out with absolutely no hair on the top of my head. But thanks to private label, which is privatelabelextensions.com, mm -hmm. and the beautiful Miss Erin Taylor, I'm now <laughs> with a little hair, Ooh, <laughs> a little do, a little tank, a little cut, a little <laughs> A Yay. new attitude that you got to include that new attitude. <laughs> I might have been quiet. Did I even speak to any of you all when I came in? <laughs> oh, like but it. now I feel real good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love it. We love it. <laughs> okay. So, Aaron, I'm going to need you to relocate the floor. <laughs> The funny thing is, she does come back and forth to Florida doing hair. I do. So, so I travel upon client request. Mm -hmm. um, just for those clients looking to fly me out, um, there's some details that are needed. Um, definitely obtainable and reasonable for you, but that's something that we can accomplish. Yeah, to be smoothed out, y'all hear this? Mm -hmm. That Baby. part. <laughs> <laughs> but we can do it. But we can. We can. Wheel and hat. <laughs> do it. Yes. As we come to a close, mm. I like to line where I'm going to place my fibers before I do my fibers. Okay, okay, that works for me. Yes. <laughs> and again, that phone number is 404-337-3922. It's the Erin Taylor. That's T-H-E-E-E-R-I-N-T-A-Y-L-O-R on all platforms. There you go. And that's for booking appointments, scheduling tours and classes, mm -hmm. coming to you, you know, all those things. All right. So yeah. as I was saying, oh, go ahead. Man. No, I was just saying, don't procrastinate on it. We do not want that to happen. Mm -mm. You know. Mm -mm. Plan ahead. Plan ahead. Communicate. Mm -hmm. Evaluate. Don't be late. Articulate. You know, kind of <laughs> like, kind of like, you know, we always say, starting on Monday. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's always the saying for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it on Monday. I'm going to do it on Monday. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to it on Monday. I'll do it. I have a dollar sign there. Okay. Okay. It's three hours and some change, but it works for every minute. But Very much so. Every minute. So that goes back to the original question, how long does this unit take? And this is with instruction. Mm -hmm. So you all seen everything I've stopped to share and different things like that. And we're at about three hours and some change. Um, so absolutely. And just keep in mind, there are details and specific tips and different things that on the 101 class, mm -hmm. you're going to get as well. So I would definitely suggest getting in that 101 class. Mm -hmm. You've seen this entire process, but you didn't see this entire process. That part. <laughs> that part. <laughs> That's <not> right. <laughs> All right, so with our fibers, this is just a cardboard piece of paper here. Let me put it that way. And I'm using that so it can absorb any moisture that's left over. But again, we're just going to spray, spray, spray those areas. Yes. Thank you all. 
I'm glad that you all are getting something out of this and seeing the value in what we're bringing to you. I, wa I truly, truly, truly want to see for the stylists out there, I want to see your work. I want to connect with you. Mm -hmm. I truly do mean that. Because it's not, and I've, I really had to learn this, no matter how much skill you have, no matter how much knowledge, your level is nothing without the correct network of people. The correct people pushing you, encouraging you, supporting you. Right. You know, you're learning from them. You're pouring into each other, you know? So true. And look at that. So, this side has been fibered. This side has not. Although, the results are fairly similar. And I'm just going to do a in there so I can get him on this side for you. And again, we're going to spray, spray, spray. We're going to do one more round of hold and spray to lock everything in you all. You know, I like the sparkle, so I'm just going to use a little bit of shine. And now I'm going to go in one last time and reline from where we sprayed our fibers, just to make sure that that is clean. Okay. Where can I find fibers? Um. So you are able to find these at any of your local beauty supply stores, and I do believe Sally Salon Centric um, and Cosmopro carry them now as well. The fibers that I prefer to use are Topic. Um, that is one of the more common ones out there. over here, just making sure we're lining that to give that crispness. Now, before I let you all see Brandon, I'm going to pass him the mirror just so he can see for himself. Let me know if there's any changes he would like me to make. And then I will turn him around for the final reveal. And we're going to close out with some thoughts, some words. And then that's been it, you all. It's been a great time. I've had so much fun with you all. Thank you so much for your time, for your input for your comments, for your likes, for your shares. <laughs> All of that. All of that. Thank you.
Yeah, that one. Let's just do the mirror of this one too. That's dark. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm sure I just want you to show us sneaky peek. Oh, I'll give it to me. Woo! Thank God. I'm with it. And I'm going to send you around. I'm going to let you say some few words while I come on. gather myself for the closing. <laughs> and then I'll come back in. Yeah. Because it's very fucking cold. Well, you know that is my cousin, right? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Brandy, you can go ahead if you want to do a quick recap. Oh, you're doing your look. I got you. I oh. see what you're doing. Uh, see. Well, I can tell them where I started at least. Yeah. We started here with a unit and me completely bald. Started with this texture and we created this look. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, these girls have dropped on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're trying to pull yourself together. I, was to pull I thought together. you were getting me together, girl. You're the picture. You're together. <laughs> I am. I'm you're ready. You're together. I was trying to gather, you know. I'm ready. I wanted to, you know. Where are we, go where are we going after this? <laughs> oh, we're going to Bella Noche. <laughs> Bella Noche. Yes. <laughs> if you can't go to Bella Noche. Then where can you go? <laughs> You guys have any questions? If you wanted to, what word I'm looking for? Accentuate the curl pattern uh -huh. that initially started, what would you have to do? Yes. So, again, it's depending upon your client's wear. Brandon likes a very low cut. Mm -hmm. So, as I was going in, we went through about three or four rounds of continuously cutting off the length mm -hmm. in the unit. So, you just don't have to cut as much. You're able to go ahead, pre-comb, comb all of this out, and then you're able to go ahead and install that to your client's needs. So if you want more of the wave pattern, you don't have to set it in this formation. If you want that more of that texture look, also you don't have to cut out as much of the hair there. Great question. And Brandon, I'm just gonna pose around you a little bit. Oh if that's yeah, all. go for it. Can I get a little, mm -hmm. little hair back? Get a little peek. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all, it has been so great talking to you all, sharing this moment. A big thank you to Private Label Extensions, to Dallas, his entire team and staff. It is so, I'm so, so, so grateful um, to be invited here. Thank you so much to Brandon for being my amazing model, as always. Awesome. Um, I could not have done it without you, literally. literally. Um, and <laughs> so, <laughs> And so um, it just overwhelms my heart. Again, my contact information is going to be 404-337-3922. I'm an Atlanta-based stylist by way of California and New York as well. I do travel upon client requests. Um, and so if you need any consultations, we can do that virtually. Um, if you need any appointments, we can also arrange that. Make sure you check out www.privatelabelextensions.com for all of your extension needs. That's from lace, that's from units, mm -hmm. products, and tools. Brandon now is grabbing both the white and acrylic glue yeah. that we used for the installs on today. Privatelabelextensions.com again for that. Um, and, and should we tell? Yes, why not? Sneak peek. This is an exclusive just for private label extensions. Brandon and myself mm -hmm. are launching a podcast. 
Yes. yes. So this energy, this dynamic, this commentary that you have received today, you will be able to achieve that going forward. The name of the podcast is... I'm going to start Monday. I'm going to start Monday. It's going to come out and be released on Tuesdays, and that time will be posted soon for you. Uh, so but check out. Yeah, it's a it's a podcast based off of procrastination, yes. where procrastination meets Be purpose. purpose. And so, with that being it, one more spin for the camera. Might as well. Why and not? we are all set. Thank you guys for tuning in so much. I look forward to reading all of your comments. That part. Here yeah, connect you. with us. Yes, please. yes, yes, yes. And Brennan, please give your Instagram one more time. Oh, absolutely. Be Combs Hair, because I'm also a hairstylist. Yes. But if you need me for modeling gigs, I'm available for that as well. Absolutely. Do Bring not forget to tune in. We're going to be coming to you guys soon for the yes. podcast. I'm going to start Monday, so check in with both of us. Yes. So we look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you again Thank you to all. Private Label. We appreciate you guys.